Hello. Uh, welcome to 20 Sides to Every Story. Uh, I'm Isaac, uh, and today we are going to be playing a Dungeon Crawl classic, The One Who Watches From Below. Uh, level 1 uh, adventure. Uh, we'll get more into that. But uh, first off, who we are, we're 20 Sides to Every Story. We are a group of uh, tabletop uh, enthusiasts that love playing games. Uh, we... Uh, Currently have a list of things going on uh, throughout the week. Uh, tomorrow, we have uh, Storm King's Thunder with DM Casey. That's always a fun adventure uh, to watch. So uh, come and join us for that. Uh, also, uh, we have uh, Discord if you'd like to come and join us there. Uh, also, we have a, a Patreon if you'd like to support us in... Uh, and in in another way, just help us. Uh, we'd really appreciate it, and we th and we graciously uh, thank you for that. Um, also, uh, a few weeks from now, in uh, May, May 9th to the fourteenth, uh, the channel will be putting uh, on a charity event. It's a uh, twenty sides week of giving, and we will be donating uh, all of the proceeds. One hundred percent of the proceeds will be going to the center of the suicide. Uh, Center for Suicide Awareness. Uh, during that week, we'll be playing games. We'll be having uh, chats with uh, different people, uh, some through the center uh, that come and uh, talk to us and chat with us a bit. But uh, please come and check us out. We'd uh, really appreciate it, and we'd love for you to uh, to join us. Um, we will be having a few giveaways. Uh, I was told that we will have uh, there will be five Xbox. PC controllers that we'd be giving away that were graciously uh, donated uh, by the uh, center. Also, we'll have some uh, T-shirts and some other cool swag that you don't want to miss out on. So please join us for that. That Once again, that's uh, May 9th to the 14th. Um, well, uh, now that we have talked about that, I think that we might get started uh, into our adventure. So this adventure that we'll be playing tonight uh, is a pretty interesting and fun one. It was uh, created during um, during a mystery map adventure design competition. Good and Mid Games put it out uh, back in 2012, and uh, the winner was able to submit a map and create a game. So this author here uh job was uh selected as a winner so it's a very fun uh exciting and non-lethal adventure everyone don't worry you're all gonna be okay it's gonna be great and fun gonna be wow. rp heavy it's gonna be rp heavy yes. non -lethal? no 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 keep your dice at home there's no encounters oh. we're all good yeah, right. so don't worry I'll, about. <laughs> I'll put my dice away. I took them out, but I'll put them. I'll put them back. <laughs> <laughs> so we're gonna roll initiative. No, okay. So uh, we're gonna go ahead and start um, a. We're gonna start this uh, adventure starts uh, outside of a tavern. Uh, one of our characters, uh, Sprinkles, has uh, just left the tavern after a night of revelry and drinking or whatever sprinkles might be doing and she's she's approached by a mysterious large bearded man with a cape well what are you looking at my friend, I am looking at you. It is great to see you again. How have you been? Uh, yeah, da? Is that ye? Is that you? It's so dark out here. It is, friend. Ah, I'm glad to see you're doing well. How how have you been? You doing well? You getting good? You doing better? Every night, I go to sleep hearing the howls of the voices of all that were taken from me at the ghost ice. Yes, a very tragic event, I may say. Oh, I also may want to say, 
I severely apologize for eating that one very sad individual who fell down the hole. I have been starving for days. I have not eaten. I'm just saying it's not anything personal against him. You keep apologizing for that. Like I said, it's no matter to me. You know, it, it's fine. We all have to live. You carry his soul with you now. He walks this earth through you. I'm glad you view it that way. But if you remember correctly, I said that many days ago that I may have a mission for you. Well, I wasn't exactly telling the truth on that. It's more for myself. You see, the reason I was in that cave to begin with is I was looking for a place known as the Cave of Secrets. Um, many years back in our ancient tomes of the Yeti Society, I have read about this cave, and with the exchange of some golden gems, you'll be able to learn some knowledge gathered within the cave. But uh, it is rather tricky to find. But luckily, I think, I think I have the ability to find it now. So what I'm asking you is... I'll go. You don't have to dress it up for me yet, uh... You are my spiritual oh. advisor. You are the one, you're the one thing that keeps my sanity planted on the ground in this world. I will go to, with you to the ends of the earth. Lead sure. Me. I've been told this is a very dangerous, very dangerous, possibly even deadly, uh, deadly uh, piece we might be getting ourselves into. But hopefully, I mean, I had this. I mean, you completely surprised me when you said yes. I was gonna have a whole entire speech made about Jenna trying to figure out how to get back to the land of smog and wildfires. And baby, the that place was they call that Southern way. California. Yes, the very same. That but, is an adventure for a different day. We, but we should find the lost soul. It'd be better if we could travel together. We got a shared history. The three of us. Maybe if we go to this cave of secrets, maybe there is the secret that the the knowledge to bring her back home. Even if you want to yourself, you got a secret of your own. It does not exclude anyone in any capacity. I'm sure with enough gold or gems, you'll be able to figure out what you want to know. This seems, this seems right. I can feel it. I can feel, I can feel the soul of Mr. Whiskers, of my dear, poor little brother, of Puck, of the entire Daw family. They are pushing me towards this. This is our destiny. I will go. Let lead the way. That sounds wonderful, friend. However. We may want to bring a few extra people. The last time you went on an adventure, it went very poorly for you. They just die. They sure did. Oh, they... Oh, I thought you meant about the... Mm. But what? Oh, I can't have you lost, too. It's better for them to die instead of you. What? What talk is this? I have no idea what you're talking about. You you want to <laughs> you want to hire some help, some random strangers, and take them to the cave of secrets? They may have a reason there too. I have no idea what they mean. It's not a cave of you secrets if we tell everybody about it, Yada. We only tell a select few. Is the thing only those you can. How truly many? Trust. What's where's the limit? I the would two? say a maximum of four people. Four. Four, including us two. So you so want two you, more people. You want to cut one person in. Two Fine. people in. We should find a wizard. That would uh, be helpful. That's a skill set. That we've got a kind of a gap in our skills. Let's get a wizard. Ooh, about gap in our skills. Um, I appear to have lost most of my strength from that last encounter. I uh, I have learned a few more skills. Some that can be able to stimulate someone's senses a little, but it's besides the point. We need yeah, more kind of lean. people. Oh, thank you. I, uh, I've been working no. out. <laughs> huh? Yeah, duh, you what? confuse and confound me. This newfound intelligence of yours is... You're much wiser, Yeti, than... 
than I am a person, but do you have someone, have you been scouting people? Do you have someone in mind to join us on this adventure? I do indeed. Uh, from time to time, I'm watching on the outskirts of town. I see a very it's not like a little halfling buttons. or something. No, that, like so, is reluctant to go on an adventure. It's not one of those things, is it? No. Uh, the two I think I have in mind are one's a a young woman. I believe her name was Jenna, as we've met her before. The place from the land oh, yeah. of Walking well, Fire. Yeah, we should take her, for sure. And. One very large fellow with a very nice hat. Is there more? Or is... <laughs> he seems very capable of what he... He knows what he's doing. I think he'd be a valuable asset to this group. The only thing you've told me about him was you described sort of he's got a nice hat. It, like, did you just find a guy with a nice hat and say that's the one oh, or he is a he is a very large man okay it's a size thing the hat he almost rivals me in size and that scares me okay if you think he's good i'm fine with it but you know mr whiskers was pretty capable too and he i don't even want to think about it I, it still haunts my memory seeing his head decapitated head into the mandibles of those centipede creatures. There, my friend. And just going to give a good old big giddy hug. We'll make this right. A little tear. This is rolls down her <laughs> cheek. Let's go and find the large man with the hat. <laughs> so you do that. You go and you find... Uh, you are all brought together. Uh, you go and you take some time to gather some equipment, get some armor together, and you are on your way to the Cave of Secrets. And as your companions look around, uh, we're going to first introduce, now introduce our characters. I'm going to start with Alec. As you're walking down this dirt path. So... Uh, Sprin, as she goes by now, um, formerly Sprinkles, but now that she's come down from the uh, her, her little village in the remote icy wastelands of uh, the fringes of the world, she's, she's now donned the name Sprin. Um, she walks um, with purpose. Uh, she's got her hair is kind of like in a weave and has been pulled up and it's kind of like wrapped around very tightly um, around her head. Um, she definitely anywhere she goes, like still looks kind of like a wild ling. She's her leather armor. It's all just kind of patched together furs and whatnot that she was uh, kind of able to purchase and, and uh, patch together uh, from the little towns that she's visited on her back is this katana styled longsword uh which she acquired in her previous adventure and a shield um and she she walks with confidence she her face is kind of painted up she's got kind of like red i guess kind of like war paint that she has kind of donned almost like a mask over the top half of her face um and uh once in a while, you could probably hear her kind of like whisper something like to nobody that's there. Um, and so she's kind of, kind of got this little bit of a ferocity and a wildness about her. All right. And we've already experienced a bit of her personality already. Thank you, Alex. Looking forward to tonight. And I'm rooting for sprinkles. I mean, spring kills. Spring kills. Uh, <laughs> God, it's going to be one of those <laughs> sessions, guys. Uh, coming up next, Jenna. Tell us more about your character, Jenna. Hi, I'm Jenna. I'm playing Jenna. So, <laughs> I'm, what I'm writing that down. <laughs> <laughs> what, hap what happened last time was... All the characters who were originally from this land, who were brought to the ghost ice to figure out what was going on there, well, 
they kind of all died. But then we ended up, we were like in a room where people were frozen and I was in there. <laughs> so this is like, like multiverse version two Jenna, like some kind of like weird DC Marvel thing going on. There's two of me. Um, during my time, uh, no longer in my homeland of wildfires and smog, um, I've been kind of teaching the people around the village like how to kind of like keep their history and like return. They kind of taught me ways to defend myself. Um, I'm not very confrontational, so I went with the way at the backstab because that way I won't get hurt. So I'm a thief. <laughs> and meeting with Yeda and and sp sprint kills again this will be my first major adventure with my new skills i am both scared and excited mostly scared but i'm ready to go <laughs> <laughs> thank you up next as everyone <laughs> looks over to this wise hairy humanoid looking figure they see Dawson's character, Yeda. Hey, I'm Dawson. Not only characters survived the last funnel, so I'm playing the Yeti. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Yeda is, as you've guessed already, a Yeti. He is a very large, very hairy individual. He's got two pointy teeth that protrude from the bottom set of teeth upwards. But the way he carries himself, his back is held straight. Very nice, like, fur coats. Very, like, well-dressed. Very well-maintained. And he seems to know what he's talking about a lot of times. But the only problem with that is the only person who really understands him in any capacity is Spring Kills. Everyone else just hears, uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. No. And maybe an occasional name or word or two. Nothing beyond that. Gonna be great adventure. Thanks, Dawson. Coming up next, Percy, who is playing Pillsbury. Go ahead. Take it away. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, my name is Percy. I will be playing Pillsbury today. Uh, Pillsbury, a six foot three tall. 350 pound large white dude <laughs> he has a chef hat on his head that's been blackened in the back from that time that he was struck by lightning uh he wields a rolling pin and an axe uh he also i assume that we're together at this point yes will offer the group donuts with sprinkles on them. That My friend, this is a very generous offer, but all you hear is. Spin accepts the donut. And she's just like pulling off the, the little sweet confectionaries, the little sprinkles, and everything. If there's any frosting, she's kind of like scraping that off with like a sharp edge of her katana. She just, like, nibbles away at it over a long period of time. Sprinkles, would you prefer a uh, cookie? No. This uh, th this morsel that you've given me, it'll, it'll nourish me just fine. He reaches into his bag, cupcake. And he'll offer you a pink icing cupcake. No, I, I shouldn't. I couldn't. My friend, you need to keep your strength up. Even though this may not be the best option, any sort of sustenance will help you in the long journey ahead. It's, uh, the, the, the sweetness, the sugar, it's too decadent. I cannot enjoy this. This is simply for, to sustain my life force, for the battles to come. <laughs> So you are hungry, then. Also, I'm creating a little trail so we can find our way back if we get lost. 
Oh, well, that'll be handy. Yeah. The birds eat it. I was going to say, I feel like I've heard this before in a storybook about two children who found their way into a candy house. I I don't know that one. We didn't have that one in the village. We were too busy learning Uh. rudimentary Yeti. Maybe maybe I'll tell you later. (laughs) What was that? When I was Uh, growing up, I always said, this is useless, this is a skill I'll never use, and then, look, here we are. Who knew? (laughs) My friend, you are doing an excellent job at it. All right, so <laughs> you guys get to the, you guys eventually get to where you're going. And in, fa- in fact, you find yourself at the beginning of a cave. Uh, after several days of this uh, on the trail, you reach an area indicated on the map. Uh, your pulse quickens. As you spot the cave, near the opening, a simple weathered sign beats in the wind. It reads, Enter. Yeah, duh. What do you you make of that? This seems a little on the nose, don't you think? That do. You know, for all of my readings, I would never expect a place for secrets to be so openly inviting. It is rather peculiar. As you peer inside, it seems to be lit dimly. Like there's maybe some torchlight or something somewhere inside? Maybe further in. Do you think someone's home? Like, is there like some kind of wizard in there that we just go up and talk to and s- I don't know. This is kind of your thing, yeah, dog. What do you... As far as I'm aware, this place should... I also the books we've had up north kind of got stuck in a snowstorm once. Half the pages kind of just froze over and broke off. It was not great. We had a very poor bookkeeping system, but I don't think anyone should be here, but this is rather... Strange for a place of secrets to be so open, as I've said before. Sir Pillsbury, what do you make of this? I think it's pretty friendly. I think we should go inside. I'm wondering if we made like... I'm wondering if we made like a wrong turn. Because this doesn't feel very secret. It seems very inviting. Maybe it's a test. It's a trial. If we walk in there, we enter... Half of us will get murdered by some kind of death trap. Oh, you think it's a trap? I'm going to, like, look behind the sign and see if maybe, like, I don't know, maybe there's something written back there that'll keep us from being put into a death trap. I don't know. Mm -hmm. I'm going to, like, poke around. Are we sure, like, this is the place? Like, or... Yeah, Yeah, Yeda is absolutely (laughs) certain. (laughs) <laughs> Our part says let us here. This seems like the correct place to be. He's you're not very optimistic about it. Mr. Pillsbury, you think this is a great place? You want to walk right in there? Well, this is a this is gonna be a if, lesson for you. If, you're gonna lose your you, hat. No. Mm-hmm. It's well attached. And I do have others. You, you've, you've got extra hats that you brought with? Of course. Oh, do you regularly lose your chef's hats? No, I've never lost a chef's hat. But you're, so you're suspicious that on any given day you may lose your hat. But this cave you're fine with. Well, does your friend Yada not want to go in there? He really wants to, and are you are you thinking he's he's setting us up? No, <laughs> no. <laughs> it's just I think it's some kind of like Yeti 
logic that I just don't understand or he's he, I was wait, to Yeda for you. is is very wise and I, I would trust my life to him in a heartbeat. But so if Yeda says go forward, I, I'm gonna go forward. All right, I'll be right beside you. Well, maybe I will a be right behind, behind you. you. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I, think you. I think it'll be a good idea to have a look around to see if there's any other entrance other than the one that says enter. That's what I was hoping you'd say, Yeda. Thanks for reading my mind on a little bit of a delay. Okay, so it sounds so it sounds I heard uh Jenna um was taking a look as well, so I'll let you both go ahead and roll. We are going to use an intelligence mm-hmm. check. As you're looking around. All right, yeah, duh. I believe in you. I got a fifteen. Twenty. All right. Uh, through thorough search, you both um look. You look behind the sign, Jenna. Nothing. Uh, yeah, da. You're looking around. Uh, maybe you're a bit more familiar with natural caves and how they're built. You're looking for that extra entrance, but no, it seems that this is pretty straightforward. Uh, seems like this is the way to enter. Uh, it, there is some light kind of flickering just past kind of flickering against the wall, just a little further ahead into that cave. You wish I may enter first, just to show the others I can be trusted. And I'll start walking forward. All right. Sounds good. So everyone that uh, at home and watching, uh, most of this is going to be theater of the mind, though. I'll have this uh, little icon here, this 20 sides comment, just to give us a general area of where the group is going. Okay, so you decide to enter. Um, I'll go ahead and let uh, let me know if everyone decides to go in once he is moving in. Or are you guys staying back? I'm right up there, side by side with Yeda. Sword out. I'd probably wait a few paces and just kind of like watch, but then would like trail behind cuz I don't want to get left behind. <laughs> <laughs> Can I take the sign down? I don't want anybody else chasing after us. You could do whatever you'd like. Yeah, would I'll you like the to sign. take the sign down? Yeah, I'll take the sign down. No check needed. That's a freebie. <laughs> you only get one. Okay, you take the sign that you take the sign. Hang down. All right. Uh, you're going to keep it with you? Or are you going to just throw it on the floor or what? I know. We could take it with us. It might be handy. Okay. Uh, pull Don't out get... a curler as we're walking in and start eating that. All right. Okay. As you continue in, um, the entrance of the passage gradually begins to widen. into a large cavern. The, uh, a light smoke hangs in the air, diffusing the light of scores of candles placed around the chamber. The air has a thick richness to it, tart, sticky sweet, with floral undertones, and makes you feel lightheaded. Though, uh, through the smoky gloom, you can see a body-length uh, niches that are carved in every wall. A large obsidian uh, obelisk stands at the room center beside a small altar. As you begin to continue to walk and you see a few candles kind of lit throughout the room in different groups. And at this stone altar are two 
uh, candles on either side. And in the center is a small, just wicker basket bowl. Uh, next to that seems to be a collection of bags of some kind that just seem to be thrown on the altar. Um, oh. Sorry, I was just going to say, it kind of looks like offerings. Well, you see, my good friend, uh, what the legends tell is you must place a either gold or gem-based offering into the thing to be able to have your secret told to you. And all you hear is, Arr, Arr, Arr. He says okay, he thinks so that yeah. something needs to be, we need to give something valuable to this obelisk, to this whatever unholy god this place is dedicated to. I have some sausage mm. rolls. We could give that to it. I don't know. He said gold or gems. What do you think, Daw? Speaking in Yeti, what do you think? Sausage? Is that an offering that is appropriate? Wait, hold on. You know, it's... I know he's talking to uh, Pillsbury. What do you mean sausages? I thought you were baker. I thought your thing was baked goods. I said sausage rolls. Oh, okay. Sorry, you know, I misunderstood. It's not actually sausages. It's actually more baked goods. This guy's got a lot of baked goods, a lot of hats. I find it rather strange, but I enjoyed his snacks. I thought they taste wonderful. Did you just bring this guy along because you wanted to eat tasty foods the entire time? I can only eat so many people on a day. I need a change of diet. Okay. We did find when we did find him, he was half starving in a oh, place that was very I should to blow have up. asked more questions. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Um, yeah, no, it seems to think that your delicious baked goods are quite valuable. It could be a good offering. I'm not convinced. I mean, the parts where I did say gold and gems goes kind of also frozen. Maybe it could also mean sacrifices in a sense. I mean, you're sacrificing chicken babies to make baked goods anyways, so possibly... I'm gonna have this the, uh, um, offer the sausage roll to Yada. See if he takes it. Why are you giving me this? Is it snack time already? Uh, oh, sorry. Uh, uh, <clears throat> uh huh. Boop. He grabs it. <laughs> hey, thanks. Uh... Hey, thank you, Scenario, for uh, the sub. 24 months. That is two years. Wow, time flies. <laughs> thank you. All right, so it sounds like you are moving closer to the altar. And who is moving up to make this sacrifice? Bryn is definitely moving to the walls where you said the little etchings are. Okay. Trying All right, to be away as you... From the Okay. <laughs> As you move uh, towards, you see um, there's rocks kind of laid around uh, the kind of outskirts of this uh, cavern. And as you're moving around, you notice two large lumps, figures. It looks like they're figures about maybe five to six foot kind of in length. And they have this fabric around them uh, with these rocks kind of encase them, almost like a some type of shelter or something. Either way, they're laying there, these or figures. A funerary thing. Are these bodies wrapped in cloth? Wait, what? Mummies? I'm going to poke one with my sword. I'm not going to stab it. I'm going to poke it. Okay. Uh, you go ahead and poke it, and you hear a... Urgh. Well, this one's alive. Well, it makes noise, but poke it again. Hey, 
You alive in there? And an older gentleman, kind of balding, long hair. It's a uh, uh, human. Kind of looks like, what, hey, what's the big idea? Why are you poking me with a stick? That's sick. Stick is a sword. Either way, can't you see him just trying to sleep? Oh, that's what you're doing. I thought you were dead. You look kind of no. dead. No, do you I? Want a cupcake? No, I. Uh, I don't. I'm not hungry. I was sleeping. What? Uh, what? What are you doing here? Making a sacrifice to the altar. Got any oh. feelings about that? Are you supposed to be here? Sign said enter. Is that your oh, sign? Is that the sign? Yeah, that sign. Hey. You took down my sign? Wait, you live here? Well, I'm the caretaker around these parts, you see. Are you truth seekers? Is that why you're here? Uh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I guess you yeah. can say that. Uh-huh. I just want to go home. You ever see a Yeti uh-huh. before? Mm. Is that what that is? Mm-hmm. Then... He's my I best friend, so you better choose your words wisely, <laughs> old timer. Easy. Easy. I, uh, yeah. You've come to learn the truth, so you have offering. Yep. Rulers, donuts. He oh, probably I was has some bread. Giving him apple pie. Apple pie. <laughs> A wooden sign that says "Enter." I I I also have a a gem. That would not be enough. You see, the tithe is at least 10,000 gold pieces. Why, why do you... Are you out of your mind? And are you sure you belong here? Sign said enter. I already have a lot of student debt back in the land of wildfire and smog. I don't need student debt here, too. Is there another way to get some knowledge? I'm a baker. I, I <laughs> like We work a lot of hours um, really early, but we don't make a lot of money. Well, if you were to bring these items here, you would be able to put them on the altar. You take those dried those dried flowers there you burn them you inhale the smoke and the truth it would be given to you in your dreams but you do not have the money i do not think you belong here it's a pretty good pie who has that kind of cash? Wait a second. <laughs> this How is long scam. have you been living here? How would you know? What did he say? I don't... I'm sorry? He wants to know how long have you been smoking <laughs> this crap down here all by yourself. Oh. By myself. You yeah, did mention that there was buddies. two. Did you say there was two blankets earlier? Maybe yeah, not. I no. think you should all leave. Yeah, duh, he wants us to leave. What do you think? He's kind of looking at you, and as he kind of gets up, kind of shakes and looks up at you and kind of points 
kind of points at you pretty close to your chin. I think you should all leave. Sprint's going to, like, grab him and try to put him in a full Nelson. Just, like, <laughs> as soon as you try to grab him, poof, smoke. <laughs> and it circles around, and it enters into the obelisk and disappears. Whoa. Are we high? Are we the ones that are high? It is kind of... It's got a smell in here. Do we need to... T do we need to... Stop the candles? I mean, are they like candles? Or are they like kind of like, you know, like the little like incense type? Uh, they're candles. Okay, they're, they're candles. Lit. Maybe they're scented candles. It smells really sweet in here. It's a scented candle. That sounds wonderful. Uh-huh. <laughs> she just insulted me. Do you know what you just said in Yeti? No, I'm trying my best. It's very, it's very tonal. That is, like, that is, is it not wait. one way to talk about my father? Wait, is it uh -huh or uh huh? Wait, did I say it right? I'm, I'm gonna be over here. I, I, I need, I need a minute. That mm. is like. Oh, you're gonna need to give oh. him some space. Okay. The very. Sensitive. I'll walk over to the obelisk. Yeah. Can, can you can you tell him I, like I it was it was an accident. I'll I try. Like, I'll try to explain okay. it. I think he understands. He's a sensitive soul, but you know it's still very shocking to hear that. Okay. Yeah, I get it. It's okay. <sighs> okay, I'm gonna. I'm gonna look around the cave for a minute and just go start like walking around, seeing if I can find All right. anything. As you continue to look around, uh, you too, uh, you do notice that other kind of mound of fabric uh, near Sprin. You also notice a few other things as you move around the cave. I'm trying to move all my little pieces that I built. You notice there seems to be an entrance further down uh, this direction, as well as it looks to be kind of like a bordered off section uh, a little further south. Huh. I'm going to kind of step a little closer to that bordered off section and just kind of mm -hmm. like stand on my tippy toes and. Try to like, take take a look see. Okay, as you look down, uh, the cave floor begins to slope downwards, gently, uh, before it widens, uh, ending in a precipice. This uh, railing cobbled together from discarded wooden planks, all that say "enter" are the only thing between you. And a black pit. The chilly wet air sinks of bat guano, that means poo poo, and decay. All the, the, this fence is made out of enter signs? Huh. I'm gonna take a look at the stairs too, see if, are there more lights? Like what we saw at the end, like when we were standing at the entrance, or uh, around you, just a little further north, in between you and that those stairs, there are a clump of lit candles, kind of there, kind of wax, kind of it's been there for a while. It looks like they keep on adding candles and candles, so it's kind of built up the wax, kind of residual around the these candles. Okay, or sorry, I meant like um looking at the staircase. Oh, further uh, down, like up further up or down. Staircase does seem to as well have a bit of light as you look up. Okay, I'll kind of poke my head back around, and be like, "Hey guys, there's a, uh, there's a stairs and a hole blocked off with welcome signs, or sorry, excuse me, not welcome, enter signs." That's weird. 
Yeah. It is. I'm still holding the pie, and I'm going to turn to Yada and ask, should I put it on the altar? I would probably advise against it. I don't think it's a very good idea as of right now. And all you hear is, uh -huh. All right, I will go over and put the pie on the <laughs> No, don't do that. What are you doing? You fool. Stop it. As you go, uh, you do have to move. You see that in the wicker basket, there seems to be a few gold coins as you get up close. As well as that smell, that kind of sweet smell. Uh, it's really coming pretty strong from these uh, kind of sacks of dried flowers. We're supposed to smell the flowers? That seems kind of dumb. I think I'm going to leave the flowers. And I'll leave the, the pie on the altar. Okay. Sounds good. Sprin, uh... Check. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, the... The overlook over there, you said it kind of smells like bat guano. Can we see any bat droppings or anything, like on the sides of the pit or anything? Uh, it, it's pretty dark. You would need somehow to be able to Whoa, thanks for the jams, man! light it up in order to really see much. Okay. I was going to try to make like a makeshift torch or something. Mm hmm. But, uh,. I know. I'll take a piece of the sign and drop okay. it in there. Okay, so you're gonna to... light you're gonna light it? I don't have right. anything and to have... light anything. I'm just gonna oh, take okay. like a piece of sign that's sitting there and like push it in the pit. Okay. As you kinda of do that, you have to walk over a few like candles and you go and you take it and you go ahead and throw it down. Uh you wait a while. But you think you hear it hit something. It echoes and echoes back up. Sounds like there might be a floor down there. But like tremendous distance. Like it took a while for me to hit her. Uh, give me a give me a an intelligence check. We'll see how well you're able to judge it. Oh. I rolled a nineteen. Um, you would say anywhere from about 105 feet to 95 feet down. Also, thank you very much, uh, Nuthouse. Thanks, Cliff, for the bits. So pretty deep. Yeah. What have you gathered over here? Anything in particular? The big hole. And it goes a really far down. I see. Is that a weird thing to build? Quite, I would say. Do you wish to venture down it? No. No? Mm-mm. Because if you did, I could help with that, you know. Oh, you could climb down there, couldn't you? I sure could. It smells like caca. <laughs> I'm yes, the smell of caca prevails very strong from this um area. You want to climb down like and get me some? I was kind of hoping to get get some of that. I just, maybe we could like spread it on like a piece of the sign and I could have a little torch. I'm a little strapped for cash here, Yada. Um, trying to make my own torches. Oh, why didn't you ask me for money? I have some money, I was gonna use it for the offering, but clearly. I don't have enough. Yeah, we don't have... 10,000 gold? What's that all about? This seems like some kind of weird, like, culty scam thing. I don't know if it's a culty scam thing. He did vanish straight into the obelisk. Which, by the way, did we ever look at the obelisk? Because I don't think we did. I'm going to go look at the obelisk. If you need me, I'll be right over there. Okay. He's going to go look at the obelisk. All right, you go and you move up to the obelisk, and there seems to be, uh, it's made of obsidian, uh, darker, um, 
material. It is uh, the it's not crudely made. It is very uh, kind of sheeny and shiny, kind of polished. Uh, very chiseled edges, very sharp edges, not rounded in any way. With it, I uh, kind of fixed atop the center, and it stares forward, um, almost etched into the stone. Stares forward towards any certain direction? Uh, towards the entrance. Hmm. Well, it is indeed an obelisk. Very well made. I'm not really sure how it pertains to anything in here, but whoever built it took really care on their craftsmanship. Are there uh, more... So I was kind of assuming that, like, the body was, like, in a little... One of these little nooks? Is that right? Uh, we're going to say that it was maybe uh, northern section. There are two kind of uh, stone, almost like you want to say, like, uh, if you camp, you'd maybe put some stone up to kind of to kind of shield you from the, the wind type deal. These kind of stone little nooks are in place. Uh, for you to sleep. And you did find one person, though. There is, seems to be another figure uh, oh. still over there. Poke that one, too. All right. Sword. You go on pokey pokey, and you hear... Did that guy just say... to me? I'm not familiar with that tongue of language, unfortunately, so it could mean anything. Let's stick him again. Oh, grab the cloth and peel it back. As you peel it back, you find a deceased elven female. Oh no, you killed her. Does she smell bad? Um, not until the second poke. You're beginning to think maybe you ruptured some type of organ or something that is kind of letting out some little stank. She seems a little, she was a little soft. I didn't really poke her that hard. I think the flesh is already a little grody. Uh... How do, I'm going to just make sure I'm going to stick my sword through her brainy part. Mm-hmm. You go ahead and do that and nothing happens. It just... It just... Don't worry, I took care of it. <laughs> does the... Does the... 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 The sweet smell cover the grody smell at all? Or does it kind of mix? Not over there in that weird. northern set. It's starting to get a little rank up there. Ugh. Not to lie. It's like when someone... Just picture like spoiled milk and then someone got some lavender air freshener and tried to fix it without really getting rid of the milk. It's kind of like where you're at at the moment. Sorry, guys. Um, I'm going to just <laughs> check her real quick, though, and see if she's got 10,000 gold, maybe. <laughs> You go in and go do that. It doesn't go and reach out and grab you. Uh, you come up with... I'm going to let you roll. Roll me a d10, please. Seven? You get seven silver pieces. Ooh. All right, guys. I have my part. <laughs> Excellent. With a combined total of wealth we have... I have this many. Probably 16 gold pieces. Seven silver pieces. In a sausage roll. Should we check the stairs? There's stairs that are going up. Maybe there's... Uh -huh. The coins the over there is... Uh, they don't have 10,000 coins over there. They just have a few. Should... I think he might have been lying to us. Maybe they threw can... the gold down the pit. Wait, Wait before you stab the uh, poor woman... Uh, what was her cause of death? Do you have any idea? Was she strangled? Was she, I guess, stabbed other than by you? Mm. I'll I'll waltz on over. Just plug in All my right. nose. Give me an intelligence check as you're looking over the body. 
17. 17. Uh, it appears that there might have been... You don't see very many. You see two pokes. One through like the gut, one through the head. And it appears that it's a bit decayed, but you could... You think it's some blunt type of force? Oh, I'm afraid she may have tripped over her own two feet and bonked her head really hard. That or someone hit her with something. Maybe the ghost in the obelisk did it. I mean, he was getting pretty testy with us when we didn't have the gold. I, it almost seemed like he might have bonked me on the head if I didn't try to wrestle him. But he didn't. He ran away. He poofed. Yes. He poofed. <laughs> Sprint's going to go over the obelisk and start hitting it with her sword. Hey, get out here. Quit hiding. <laughs> you hear <laughs> kind of ting, ting, is that, as you're hitting is that it. that a good idea? <laughs> Nothing seems really much to happen, though. I don't think he's going to come out. We can go up these stairs, I guess, and or does anybody want to smoke this stuff? That's what he was saying. We had to pay him to do that. It's on the way out. It seems sketchy. <laughs> yeah, now's not the time. We're on the clock. What does that mean? I'm not familiar with that uh, type of language. I what know, is I heard on it from the clock? Jenna. Oh. Jenna, I want to ask you what on the clock means. Uh, assuming that was translated. Um, <laughs> uh, on the clock uh, means uh, that you're like you're you're working like you're you have a set time, a set amount of time to do something. Uh, back where I live, there's these things that keep track of time for you, and it's called a clock. So. Uh -huh. uh, yeah. Quite fascinating. A small yeah. device to keep track of time. Mm -hmm. Ingenious. Yeah, I'd I'd show you one of them, but uh, the bat like the battery ran out a while back, so I can't. I can't. It was really cool. It had like, a, it was like a it was like a picture, but when you tapped it, it would do different things. Like yeah, and but it also showed the time across the top. Um. It, it stopped working when I got here, though. Sprin pulls uh -huh. out the little Walkman, and she's she's like got the little thing with the the muff the little earmuff things, and she's mm -hmm. like, "This needs the battery too." Yeah, I don't, I don't have any more batteries. Maybe uh, this is a place of secrets. Maybe we can learn the secret to making battery. Maybe. Because I want to hear that <laughs> beautiful voice again. I don't have the heart to tell them that we probably won't be making the battery. <laughs> They're like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, we'll, make, we'll find batteries. Everybody wants to rule the world. The owner of that voice was from a group called Tears for Fears. <laughs> <laughs> Well, that should be the name of our adventuring group. You want to be called Tears for Fears? We are the Tears for Fears. I like it. I thought that voice was Sprin. Or Sprinkle. A sprinkles? I'm so confused. <laughs> Spring kills, my good friend. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, so it's okay when he says it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so you find yourself kind of at a pass, right? What are you thinking? What is the group thinking? Are they going to try to figure out what's really going down in that kind of pit? Or are you thinking maybe going up the stairs? Or are you thinking of leaving? Do you think maybe we should take like those like the the flower bags that he was talking about? Because that seems to be part of it. 
Do, should we take one of them and bring it with us while we explore? And if if we happen to need it, we'll have it. But what if? What if? Okay, I don't know if I really believe it, but what if the money thing is real and we take it and you get like a curse? Oh, yeah. I've never experienced a curse before, but I don't think I want to. Hmm. It seems kind of far-fetched that there'd be a curse. I mean, what do you think would happen if I just put in a gem? Like, because there, there's not 10,000 gold pieces in that basket. It looks pretty empty. So either someone did put it in there and then emptied it out, or maybe something got lost in translation and it, it, instead of 10,000, it's one or ten. I don't know. I don't like that thing. Um, I think you're just going to lose your gem. Yeah. And I, I've already given it a pretty good pie. Didn't seem to appreciate <laughs> that, none. Yeah. The pie's Maybe. still there, right? Yeah. It sure is. You look back, it's right there next to everything. I guess divine beings don't appreciate a well-baked pie. They don't know what they're missing. Maybe it's because yeah, it's not hot. Because sometimes, like, a hot pie, like, if you can smell it, like, people just, like, flock to a warm apple pie on a windowsill. That's true. <laughs> what what flavor is it? Maybe the flavor has something to do with it. Like it's pie may- flavor. Yeah, it, well, it's an apple pie, so it, it would be pie. apple flavor. Okay. May- maybe Maybe they don't like apple. Maybe they prefer, like, like, like a like a I don't know like a cherry pie or a raspberry pie or a lemon pie. What if they can make a pie that tastes like pie? What would that be like? I guess that would be the crust, right? Uh, it'd be pretty doughy. <laughs> <laughs> we should probably go to the stairs by now. Can yeah, let's some go to the guano stairs. from the pit, please. Oh, if you wish to, I can definitely do that for you. Thank you. You're the best. A, a, a guano pie wouldn't be very good. Oh no. <laughs> why? Why do you want bat caca? I'm gonna put it on the end of one of these uh, pieces of wood, and I'm going to light it on fire with the candle, and then I've got a torch. Yeah. Yeah. That does go over to the edge of the pit mm-hmm. just stretch his fingers out claw right. claw comes out he's gonna start climbing his way down all right uh get yeah duh, you guano. get about uh get about 30 feet down and it's starting to get a little dark uh you cannot see the bottom of the pit do you mm. wish to continue sure okay uh, you make it uh, all the way down. Eventually, you think you've found the floor. It's complete uh, dark down here. Um, do you have something that might aid you in being able to see down here? With all my powerful clerical abilities, light is not one of them. I don't think I even own torches. All right. So, so you're down there, and it I is sure dark. Am. You shuffle around here and there, kind of slimy as you're moving around every once in a while. You might think you've stepped on something. Um, You're walking. You hear cracks as things break underneath your weight. Um, You know, there was a good mention of decay possibly being thing. Oh, you see, this comes to the issue of, <clears throat> oh, sorry, why am I talking to myself? That's foolish. <laughs> <laughs> you find the poo-poo? Um, I mean, there possibly is poo-poo, typically that's found with dead bodies. That's not what I wanted. It- well, it's what's down here, mainly, unless you want me to bring up a uh, pile of miscellaneous goop. That's probably the best I can give you right now. It is quite dark. 
it is very hard to see, and I did not bring a torch either. Oh, well, you should come back up quick. Probably real. I'm just quick. gonna just, I'm just gonna just pull out a little bag, just put my hand on the floor and just scoop whatever's there, close it up mm-hmm. and fly back up. Okay. All I, all I imagine is like while he's doing that, it's very dark down here, and then he just feels like a hand. You make it back up. No problem. No hands? What's in the bag? Uh, Looks like kind of a mixture. You see uh, what appears to look like kind of like a finger bone and a few other pieces of bone and I guess a bit, nope. maybe, of some white substance? Ah, this may be what you're looking for. It's mixed in with all that other stuff. Well, well, you went kind of... through the effort, so I'll start, like, kind of smearing it on, like, the little piece of wood, mm-hmm. and then I'm going to go and take it over to the candle and see if I can get it to light. All right. Um... I hate to do this to you, but can you give me a? We're gonna maybe ask for a luck check. <laughs> <laughs> Why do I even bother? <laughs> oh no! <laughs> I'm just gonna pull out a handkerchief and just wipe the goop off of my hand. Put it back. Um, I got close. I have a three. Uh-huh. I have a luck of a three, and I rolled a four. Uh-huh. Oh, it seems not for some reason not. Maybe you're lighting it wrong. Maybe you're just not holding it right, but you just can't figure it out. I think there's too much like bodily fluids on the. It's like mixed in with the with the stuff I wanted. It's like counteracting the flammability. I'm on. I'm honestly surprised it didn't catch fire because. I read somewhere one time that like there was like an like there was like some news about a place that blew up because apparently bat poop is like super flammable. I think there's like just a little bit of bat poop though. I think it's okay. mostly blood and guts. Gotcha. Yeah, it's probably less flammable. I didn't read. I that didn't come up in the article. It was mostly talking about the poop. Is this from? I I have college? a flask of oil. Do you think that would help? <laughs> You oil this entire time, and not to say the shirt, you fool. Uh, Yedda says he thinks it would work. He said that really loud. <laughs> I want to take. Uh, what, there's like these bags. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'm gonna wrap one of those bags around a piece of wood and soak it in the oil, I guess, and try to light that and use it as a torch. It worked, no problem. No hey. problem. Alright. Up the stairs problem we go! <laughs> you got the stairs. A really stupid idea. Yeah, I was just going to walk over to a candle and pick one up. Okay. Little snap, and you have a candle that's lit. Oh yeah, that would be a good idea. We are all fools. <laughs> I'm, I'm sad in myself. Mainly. It's just like gonna... a little candle. This is like uh, torch. I'm gonna copy the, the, the take a kid too. A nice tall one, one that might last a little while, if there is any. As you are gathering candles, uh, you begin to come uh, walk up the stairs, and a massive metal gate blocks the passage ahead of you. A large Hmm. metal plate is set in the middle of the door with a keyhole positioned at the center. Beyond the gate, uh, through uh, some large bars uh, kind of spaced apart a bit uh, widely, you can see a large stone portal carved in the image of some hideous monster. Glittering with jewels. 
Okay, so it's like there was a gate blocking, but uh, so it's, it's a been gate, uh, and pulled. and through there's a like a view hole through the okay. gate, uh, and it just has two bars, nothing, t uh, kind of uh, not. Oh. Yeah, it's just on the side, more for stability. It seems like okay. kind of far apart. Okay, I I misunderstood. I thought like uh there was the gate, and then bars were pulled apart so someone could like fit through. Uh, no, it's part of the same door. It's okay. a, like, pretty much a, a metal uh, gate with uh, like a view hole and okay. two bars that are kind of widely set apart. Okay. Uh, if you're looking, if you're looking to fit through as you're kind of thinking about that, uh, maybe not a person would fit through, but definitely you could fit an arm through. I just realized when we were shopping, I should have bought lock picks. <laughs> um, they're, they're if you expensive. are they yeah. expensive? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, I probably wouldn't be able to afford those then. So basically, we could reach through this thing and reach the stone door, is what you're saying? Uh, you could reach through and. somehow get through there's you're able to reach in i don't know how much that would help you but you're able to reach your arm into the door does anyone go up to the door and test it out might be a very bad idea to stick our arms in places they shouldn't belong perhaps someone else's arm who's not currently using it <laughs> The mushy lady? Mushy lady might be a very great volunteer. Okay, I'll go get her. I'm going you to do that? like use my small sack to kind of create like a face mask for myself as I go to okay. grab and pull her up to try to cut out the smell. Sure do, and it has that. The, it still has the odor. Well. You you had uh, the sack the sack that you put the guano kind of on or no the... my own okay your own little sack okay yeah yeah you're able to do that uh, no problem you're able to kind of mask it a bit as you walk back over with an arm uh probably by the time she brings drags the entire body up the stairs she'll be like I could have just like cut the arm off. <laughs> Eh, I just have a katana. That's probably not like good for cutting through bone. And this is, ugh, what are we doing? <laughs> I mean, Dragging maybe it's corpses around and talking about cutting off body parts. I mean, maybe it's rotted enough that you could just break it. Or rip it off. Give it, I'll give it a tuck. Yeah. Snap. Pulls right off. Kind of. You did it. Strips a bit, but uh, you get it off. I hate I this. <laughs> spring kills. I'm gonna go and put the arm through the hole. Uh -huh, you do that, and it kind of it kind of jangles. And what are you? What are you? Are you looking to see if there's a trap, or what? What are you doing? I guess that's. The... She doesn't really know why she's doing this, but it was suggested by Yeda, so she's like, she does it, and then like kind of looks over at Yeda. Okay, now what's step two? <laughs> Stevie can jostle the handle and was worried that if, you know, typically sticking your arm in some place you should have belonged tends to even very much severed. And okay. since it's already severed, we won't have that issue. Okay, so it sounds like you are going to try to kind of see if you could catch a handle or something from the inside. Fishing. Fishing! Give me an, give me an agility check. I rolled a twenty. Ooh, oh, plus one, twenty one. Oh, that's awesome! Yeah, you go first try. It's almost like you when you do it, the hand kind of and just you just whip it and it grabs it, and you just hear a small as the door. I'm like massaging like a little like 
muscle or like nerve. That's exactly what you're doing. You found the the right tendon. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) Very resourceful. Excellent work. Yeah, our tribe, we had a really good anatomy and physiology class. It was right after Yeti uh, language learning. (laughs) You have a great educational system here. (laughs) (laughs) You learn a lot. (laughs) Only for some. I just just learned how to bake. But you're so good at it wrong with that. The world needs very many good bakers. For without them, what joy would there be? True. I mean, I don't understand what he's... (laughs) (laughs) Job! (laughs) Job! So the door is open? They push it open? Sure is. All right. Oh. You push it open. Ooh. And I'm moving all of these things out. <laughs> I'm going to regret doing that later. Watch. Either way, it, wor- it, wor- it works out. Yeah. You find yourself. Go ahead and see. Ooh. The floor and walls. The floor, walls, and ceiling are constructed from smooth stone blocks in sharp contrast to the natural rock in the previous er area, a 10-foot tall stone door carved in the image of some ancient demonic beast glares back at you. And that's that door right there. Ooh. Mm Mm-hmm. It's spooky. Yeah. Three fist-sized emeralds sit where the eye sockets of this demon should be. Large clay shards stand at the north and south end of the chamber. What are those? Emeralds. Oh, emeralds. Uh, They're uh, jars. So these are jars on the north and uh, south side. uh, And the door is right there. Do we get any sense of like what those jars would be for, or is you it... could go and take a look? Would you like to go and take a look and see? Sure. I'd like All to right. help. You go. Sure. Uh, you go and you help uh, look for the jars. I guess we could do. I mean, I'm not. If there's the jars, uh, seem to be empty. Uh, not much in them. They're clay. They're large. You could probably hide, and they're they're pretty tall, pretty long and tall. So if you needed to, I guess you could hide in there. Ooh, Spurden will just like take one, like flip it upside down, and like put it over her, and like kind of do like a Metal Gear Solid like little walk forward, and then like stop. <laughs> and she says, okay. "What do you think, <laughs> guys? What do you think?" She lift it up for a second so they could hear. Her. That's pretty cool. Yeah, that would be an excellent idea. If the other jars were upside down, that is. Unless I start turning jars upside down. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. <laughs> so when he's when he's flipping these jars over, there's nothing pouring out of them. No, they're empty. Empty. Okay. Is uh is is there anything like um? like painted or inscribed on on these jars um no they seem to be plain uh jars uh yeah not not much more um though uh the once you go uh further north maybe we'll say that you're in the south once you go north you notice that some of the jars do actually have something they are filled with some of those flower bulbs Oh, uh, like the ones that were on the altar? Mm-hmm. Hmm. Okay. Well, maybe we could take the bottoms off these jars, put the tops back on, and then we could just, like, 
walk through the dungeon with these jars on. And anytime we see something, we just stop. Just wait for it to pass. I like that idea. Oh, yeah, Dawes going to look at a jar. Just pick it up and try to put it over him. I mean, he's a Yeti. Can a Yeti fit in a jar? <laughs> uh, if you find a large one, probably you get halfway. Little, little snug. Am I doing a very good job at this? Uh, no. <laughs> Okay, it was a bad idea. Uh, no, no, it was wonderful. I thought it was very resourceful and a good use of our time. I don't know. If if it didn't work and we had to fight and we were inside the jars, the swing of your sword would not go well. Yeah. I'm sorry. I'm sorry I even suggested it. <laughs> I think it was I Slug. Have... Slug told me. Slug I thought it was a really good no. idea. What? <laughs> Nothing. Oh, okay. Are have you been sniffing the herbs? Let me look at the door. <laughs> 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 There's some pretty gems up there, but mm -hmm. what if they're cursed? I could retire on those gems and never have to bake again. Well, we should. <laughs> Slug, no, don't touch. And Sprint is like going up and she's like trying to grab one of the emeralds out of the door. Uh, uh, okay. Slug, you look, look, don't touch. Uh, Sprint, are you okay We're there? I'm going to go ahead and. Pause for a second, because something happens. Oh no! Uh, uh oh, time to run. Go to touch an emerald. You begin to feel a sharp pain right kind of behind the back of your eyes and it begins to become sharper and sharper sharper until it's unbearable and you find yourself falling on the floor in pain and and we see this you see this uh... one last yelp is let out a sprinkles as her body falls stiff onto the ground. And if as in what? Yeah, can I like check for a pulse or as you check for her pulse, two eyeballs her eyeballs begin to pop out of their sockets. And begin to blink and look at you. Uh, I'm gonna keep my mouth shut. Protection actually, protection from evil on sprint kills. <laughs> <laughs> now this is—it seems to be a curse, and there are some rules that come with this curse. And I'm gonna go and explain them to you. And I expect everyone to try to do the best they can by abiding by these rules. If you get this curse. However you get this curse, there are a few rules that happen. First off, <laughs> you can oh, only no. communicate with your eyes, meaning you could blink. Oh, no. Oh, my. You could, use, you could use a bit of expression, but there's no more speaking for you. We've not only lost one voice, but we've lost two. <laughs> <laughs> Second off, Sprinkles, you would notice that though you've lost the ability to speak and everyone seems to be looking back at you, you found that you have a little bit 
sense of a uh, bit of you've gained a power and that is you've gained the power to dominate unintelligent creatures so maybe that might be helpful we'll see once again <laughs> yeah right Gla galaxian Roll for my expertise. I guess we'll find out, right? <laughs> this is gonna. <laughs> this session got a lot shorter. <laughs> Tune in a few more moments. Everyone else will be kind of having to zoom in. <laughs> right. oh. Either way, that's where we're at. I'm gonna go ahead and send you uh, the stat block for your new character. As everyone is looking, um, you would see, like the skin seems to overlap and cover the eye sockets, and now is seems to be just covered, where these two little eyeballs are there. You, uh, the eyeball, you're able to go and roll over any, any inanimate object, the floor. You're able to move around and roll around like normal. You have a movement speed that I'll be sending you shortly. Uh, and, um, yep, that's what's happened. Let that sit in for a second as I send you over this information. Uh, one second. Either way, um, while you have that information, I'm going to set a quick timer because something is about to happen. Um... Uh, I don't like this. Uh... Once, uh, give me a nod once you've read that, and we'll get that timer started. <laughs> look up. Uh, you all look up. <laughs> Good job, Sprinkles. You look up, and looking back down on you, Almost in ambush mode is a giant spider. Oh. <laughs> no, thank you. I'm going to go ahead and send that stat block. And in the meantime, uh, I'll be asking everyone for what you rolled on initiative. You want me to roll with uh uh yeah you have the step block right there I okay didn't send, i sent it to you all right i'm going to first ask for sprinkles what you get 10 10 um pillsbury what did you get 10 Awesome. Uh, we'll just say uh, we'll just say Pillsbury goes first for that one. Uh, Jenna. I got a thirteen. Thirteen. And Yedda. Seventeen. 17. And finally, lucky for you, Spider. Okay. Yeah, dog. You go first. You've looked up and a giant spider appears to be coming down on the group. As you look, you notice it seems that there might be... No, it couldn't be. Are those eyeballs attached to the spider throughout the thorax? I'll cast Paralyze <laughs> on the spider. Okay. All right. Give me... Paralyze. That would be uh, a 
Here we go. First spell of the night. Here we go. No. No? No. No? Okay. I have his approval. <laughs> you could go to keep track of that. Sounds good. Um, and I will move over to shield the eyeballs of sprinkles. <laughs> and just to be clear, if you decide you do have two types of AC sprinkles, if your eyes are open, you have an AC of 12, I believe. But if they're closed, you get an AC of 20. Coming up next, Jenna. Jenna, you don't have to close the rest of the <laughs> That's what, just constantly closed. Don't look. Um, I will scream a little yes. bit. <laughs> um, and the spider is currently on the ceiling. It's on the ceiling coming down at you. Uh, oh, you're no. able to reach it. As okay. It is coming up on the entire group. I... I'm trying to remember how stuff in GCC works. I, so I would like to see if like I can I can hide because I want to try to see if I can like backstab it or I want to. Okay. Basically, I want to try to work my way around so I can. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, Alex. But does that is that just like an ability? You don't need to like hide and then do something. It's like it's built in. So it'd be like taking the action this turn to hide. So there's a skill okay. uh, check. Okay. Yeah, like I'm thinking, like maybe I can like hide among like the pots. Um, you, that, is, that is terrible. One of the under overturned pots you're gonna just try to hide into. Yeah. Sounds good. Uh, give me. Uh, what would that be? Agility. We'll say agility. Well, the thief has their skills. They. Use. Oh, they yeah. have their skills. Okay. Yeah, okay. there's um, there's hide in the shadows. Hmm? That works. They don't. There isn't like a general hide, but there's hide in the shadows. Hide in shadows okay. probably makes sense because it's when right, you're go ahead and roll. still. Okay. Let's I think see. You want to? Yeah, and just to double check, Alex, for the skills, it's like just that that bonus isn't being applied to something like. It's not that plus like an ability. It's just it's just that bonus by itself. It would be agility too. So it's, it's oh both. okay yeah. It is both okay. Okay. Ooh, I'm glad it's both. Uh, so that would be nineteen. Nineteen, great. Is there a is this one have a tier as well, Alex, or is there a? Uh, you kind of determine what you think the DC is. Okay, so there's not like a tier when you roll like spells. Okay, sounds good. Uh, yeah, definitely you're able to uh, hide uh, without being seen. Yep. Jen is hidden. Pillsbury. I am going to grab the torch. I assume that Alex dropped it. Mm -hmm. And use it to try and ward off the spider okay you're going to try to hold it out in front of me and yeah like mm -hmm. are you trying to hit it or are you just trying to kind of get away yeah it, if it gets close then yeah i'd probably hit it definitely getting close <laughs> all right <laughs> all right we'll smack it with the so roll a d20 And then you are a warrior, so you get to add a D3. That's a total of seven. Unfortunately, no, you don't get it. You're waving in front, and the spider is just... Uh, or... Sprinkles, it's your turn. I want to <laughs> dominate it. All right. You go to dominate it. 
And as you go to dominate it, you feel yourself being pushed back as intense pain acutely shoots through your little eyeballs. You cannot dominate already cursed creatures. My eyeballs just roll to the back of one of those jars. <laughs> <laughs> and I close my eyes. <laughs> Spider time! Well, um, Spider has two options. We're going to go ahead and just do this right here. Okay. Pillsbury, he is going for you. He's going to try to attack you with a mandible attack. Does a six hit? No. No, it goes to try to... Maybe it's the torch is doing its job, and it's not able to quite get you. Uh, back to the top. Yeah, da. Uh, no good. Uh, blessing. And I cast bless. Okay. But do I though? Does an eleven succeed? No. <laughs> We're doing well. So far, so good. We're lucky. We don't worry. It's. Disapproval is three. Special effects if any one of our characters don't make it. <laughs> no more. <laughs> no. Jenna, it's your turn, and you are hidden. Okay. Kind of listening as this thing has been moving, and gonna to try to like peek out. Once I feel guesstimating if it's walked by, I'm going to peek out and stab at one of those thorax eyes and hopefully perform okay. a backstab if you think that meets criteria. I don't Okay. I don't know what the criteria are, but it sounds like I might have to not be seen to do it. So yeah. Go ahead and you can roll to see if you hit. Okay. Ah. Uh, 14 a 14 hits. <gasps> nice. Um, sorry, uh, Alex. Question. So if I do a backstab, is it just like the the dagger dice, and then is there anything else added to that, or no? If you, if you hit, it's a critical. Oh, and what's a? Mm -hmm. Then you draw on a crit table to determine the extra effect. Oh, cool. Yep. So okay. First, go ahead and give us that damage, and then we will roll that crit table. Okay. <laughs> so the other thing that you, I, you might not be realizing is that because it's a backstab, mm -hmm. you get a little bit of a bonus on the attack roll as well. I I did that because oh, I rolled I ro yeah I rolled an eleven and I get a plus three for the backstab, so that's where the fourteen came from. Okay. Yep. And then so I rolled. The D four, I got one. Um, Thanks and then the I read. and it says for the crit I table, I need me. crit table two. Okay. And do I roll a D twenty? Uh, what's your what's or? your crit die? What's a D ten? It's a D ten. Okay, I don't have a crit mm -hmm. die. I have an action die. die. Yeah. Okay. Should be this one. Okay. Ooh. I got a two. Two? Do you have a luck yes. modifier? I do. Uh, plus one. Okay, so three mm -hmm. is clean strike to the back of the head, inflict an extra 2d6 damage with this strike. Oh, nice. That's pretty good. 
That is pretty good. Hey. All right. hey. And with that, we are being raided by Homebrew Cafe. Thank you very much. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Thank you very much for the raid. Appreciate it. Cool. Uh, we, I checked up on you. That's all you guys are painting. Cool. Thanks for stopping by. We're really happy to have you here. Right now, we are running a DCC um, module, level one adventure. And one of our characters just grabbed an item and was cursed. They no longer can speak and only can use their eyes to express their thoughts. <laughs> uh -huh. That's what he's saying. <laughs> Either way, <laughs> thanks for stopping by. Uh, all right, uh, so give me that total damage. Yes. Uh, all together, it should be six points of stabby stab damage. Okay. Yes. And... Yeah, that's it. All right, six points. Thank you. Also, just be aware that if you get behind the creature, and we'll say that maybe you might be able to. I know we don't have that, but if you're yeah. able to position yourself behind, that also you could also backstep. Okay. Sounds good. Uh, but we'll use more of the hide, and if we'll say, you know, okay. if you get behind me, get behind. No problem. All right. Just All for right. sorry, just for planning purposes, while everyone else is taking their turn. Um. Because I described like stabbing like one of the eyes in the thorax, or no, or like I tried to stab. Um, would I be like next to it, or oh, you mentioned the crit was like getting hit in the head, right? Mm -hmm. So you're probably behind okay, it so... right now. Gotcha. Okay, just yeah, so you're behind it right now. Cool. Thank you. No problem. Pillsbury, show us what you got. All right, so I have the torch in my left hand. I'm going to pull out my axe. Uh huh. And I'm going to hit it. Yeah. Right in the face. Right in that mandible that's trying to bite me. It's going like this and going. Yeah. It's almost like it's telling you, you can't hit me. Uh, I rolled a 13, and I get a d4, right? D3. A D3. And a 3. So 16. All right. So you hit it, and you got a 3, meaning that this is not only a deed, but a mighty deed. You can add a little bit of flair, a little bit of something that you're doing alongside to make this extra special. How, what happens? Give me that damage and tell me what else you do. So that's a D6. Mm -hmm. All right, so that's five damage. And what I'd like okay. to do is jam the torch into its eye. Okay. All right. You go and do that. You jam it. You go and you first, you, you go with the axe and you jam that torch into its eye. And it half of its face is now burnt and it's having a hard time being able to see. We're going to say that for a round, it rolls at disadvantage to attack. Actually, for the rest of its turn, it's pretty much burnt, so you get, it's blinded halfway. Anything else? Nope, that's it. Okie dokie. Up next, Spring Kills. Little eyeballs are going to roll forward and try to go towards the door and try to go under the uh -huh. door. Okay. They're yeah. able to do that. On the other side. You see a long hallway. As soon as you step into this hallway, it's like a, a purplish glow around the floor lights up. And wherever you roll, it seems to follow. We'll give a little bit more detail after, but that's what you see. You see a long hallway. Up next, spider. Can't see very much, but it did just get hit from a few people. We're going to go ahead and see. It is going for Yedda once again. <laughs> or yeah, dog, it's going for you. Ooh, uh, an eighteen to hit. 
Uh-huh. Uh-huh. It's going to hit you with its mandible. Four points of damage. Uh-huh. That's ouchy. Uh-huh. It's still writhing him as it's uh, burnt on the side of its face. But next is Yeda. He's just thinking to himself, spells are stupid. He's going <laughs> to crack his knuckles and just give, uh-huh. a good old le- give a good old left hook. All right. Oh. <laughs> 13. Does not hit. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> it's <been> bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> Fourteen, you need fourteen. <laughs> I don't got a tank modifier. It's only a plus two. <laughs> Damn it. That's it. He whiffs. He can't whiffs. Just, just can't hit people. Jenna. Uh-huh. Uh, Jenna is going to try to favor the the burned side of mm-hmm. the spider and. Uh, if still possible, sh- uh, go for the backstab. I'm going to say that you're able to do that. Okay. 17. That hits. Cool. Go ahead and roll. All right. And the crit table is a two. Total. I did the modifier thing for it. So three damage and then a two on the crit table. All right. <laughs> Two under crit table. <laughs> <laughs> you want me to pull on- that up? <laughs> or if you can send it to me, and then that way you don't have to look it up or like a screenshot of it. It's it's crit table two. It's crit table two, yeah. Um, that is slashes to. Head removes foe's ear, inflicting an additional 1d6 damage. And leaves the enemy with a nasty scar. Ooh, I'm going to remove that spider's ear. Okay, thank you for the follow. We appreciate it. Thank you. Uh, So the total damage on that would be four four points. Four points of damage. Four points. Whittling it down, that poor little spider. All he wanted to do was see why you guys were here. Uh, maybe. Uh, coming up next, Pillsbury. Well, the the whole axe thing seems to be working, so let's go ahead and do that again. That's an eight on the dice, so... You whiffed it a bit, unfortunately. Can I kills? try? Can I try and hit it with the um, torch as well? Uh, dual welding's a thing, right? You just don't get any bonuses, Alex. Um, well, it is a thing for halflings. Um. I think it would have significant penalties to both your main hand and off hand. Yeah. Okay. Oh, so. Okay. Then never mind. It's fine. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, hey, thanks for uh, checking us out. Yeah, we're playing DCC. Yeah, we're we're having a good time. I'm I'm still a little bit new, but I wanted to go ahead and run a bit. I'm we're as far as the rule set, a little shaky on it, but not too bad. I, I know enough to get us through. But uh, thanks for checking us out. Really appreciate it. Yeah, uh, we're really enjoying it ourselves. Uh, so uh, you decided not to do that. No. Nope. Uh, okay, sounds good. Uh, next is sprinkles. Sprinkles. What you eyes. see. Fr- oh. I'll go, go ahead, ahead and give you a, if you yeah I'll give you a bit more of a, a description now that you've been there for a little bit. Um. What you see is, uh, and you could hear, surprisingly, a low hum drones from a darkened hall behind the door. 
A loud thunk reverberates from above the ceiling and suddenly is illuminated, if by torches, but you see no source of light. The thunking sound continues along the length of the hall, lighting the black corridor. As it goes, the floors and walls are absolutely spotless. And the further ahead, you would see it continues down a bit and eventually goes to the right. I'm going to move forward and kind of scout it out. Okay, sounds good. We'll go ahead and you go ahead and move a bit forward. And uh, next turn, if you continue, we'll let you know what you see. Spider turn. Holding on. It's looking pretty rough. Though it is looking, it's not going down without a fight. You guys weren't very nice to it, so it's not going to be nice back to you. And it is going for Pillsbury. Does ooh, does a ten hit? Yes. Oh. Three points of damage. All right. All right. Yeah, da. Oh, I can't hit it. I can't cast spells on it. What more do I have? Um. Hmm. I'm going to try and paralyze it again. Okay. It worked. 16. 16. Awesome. That does I don't know what that do- I don't know what it does. But it's not an 11. It sure isn't an 11. 16 for Paralyze? Yes. Uh, Let's see. Cleric's hands and melee weapons are charged with the energy of Paralysis. The charge remains for 1d4 plus Cleric level rounds. Any attack by the Cleric during this period delivers normal damage plus Paralysis if the target fails a will save. The paralyzed creature is unable to move or take any physical action for 1d6 plus cleric level rounds. I gotta okay. hit it? You gotta hit Shit. it. Shit! Damn it! Mm-hmm. Well, here we go. And that's <laughs> it. But you have it, right? I have it. I have it for, you said what, 1d4 rounds? Plus your cleric level. I have it for four rounds. Nice. Awesome. That's great. Jenna, your turn. Okay. Um, if backstab is still an option, because I really like it, I'm going to try it. If not, then I would hide. Okay. Uh, we're going to say that it is aware of you now. Probably. So... <laughs> <laughs> I would be surprised if it didn't. Mm-hmm. Um, okay. Yeah, if it's possible to hide, I would like to try that. Sure. You go ahead and hide again. You can go ahead and roll. Okay. Here I go. Roll the dice. Six, 16. Oh, wait, 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 wait. 17. You're good. You're okay. hidden. Pillsbury. Everybody keeps running away and hiding. <laughs> uh, 14. Oh, plus the D3. Mm-hmm. 15 hit. That hits. So that bonus that you're getting, remember that you add that one to your damage as well. Okay, so five, six damage then. Okay, how do you kill this thing? I take my axe and I try and ram it through its neck to chop off its head. Yep, you sure do. Its head goes flying, and as it does, you notice the eyeballs that were attached to it pop off and also roll underneath 
door. You're out of initiative. <laughs> Paralyzed. You did it. I wouldn't even have to roll for that one. <laughs> you did it. <laughs> Spring kills. He ran away. Where are her eyes? Uh huh. Where are her eyes? Well, they're going down the hallway. To okay. Take a look around the bend. All right. She's going around the bend. Ooh, nasty. Going around the bend. Give me one second. All right. You find yourself. Moving to an area that uh, could only be described as a pretty round, circular room. There seems to be uh, a hallway that goes further. But uh, as you're there, large, tall uh, clay jars are evenly spaced along the north section. A metal grate is set in a two-foot-wide round pipe positioned directly in the center of the south wall, flying by clay jars on each side. That grating looks pretty small. You're looking at it. And you might be able to fit right through it. I'm going to go back the other way. Go back towards the group. Mm -hmm. And yep. is there anything that I see down to the south? Uh, the opposite way I didn't go? Uh, you go ahead and move further down. Uh, it looks like a dead end. Uh, give me an intelligence check as you're down there. Uh, no. I roll a three. No, you don't see anything? Okay. Yeah, that, it looks like a dead end down there. I'll go under the doors. Mm hmm Do I pass by those other eyes? Um, no, you didn't see them. Okay. Pass under the doors and, uh... As soon as I'm on the other side, I'm just going to look at my mm -hmm. body, basically. Mm hmm And then I look back at the party. Look back at my body. You want to go... Because we can, we, can we can see them now, right? I'm guessing? Yep. Okay. I have no idea how to help you, friend. This is a little bit, um, uh... What if we put their eyes back in? That might be a... I mean... Uh, spring kills. You want us to do that. One blink for yes, two blinks for no. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna... Just kinda... Brush off my hand here of okay. spider guts. I'm sorry. I'm gonna... Handkerchief. Oh, yeah, there we go. Okay. <laughs> and I'm going to carefully like, place you back where the eyes should go. Oh, the skin kind of went over the eye holes, didn't they? <laughs> Forgot so about that are you, detail. You just, are you setting them on, on top, or are you kind of trying to well, if it's possible, like if it's like the eyelid closed, like maybe mm -hmm. I'll, I would try to like lift the eyelid. You're going um, to check it out, and it feels almost like a like a the skin kind of the webbing right here mm, kind of okay. webbed over the eye socket. It's like a layer of skin has grown over. Hmm. 
okay. as the body lays in this in kind of like a state of a coma. What if um do you want us to take your body with us? Is that what you're asking? <laughs> no. Okay. Right. Two 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 blinks was no, right? So <laughs> Okay, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> My um, eyes are going to then look at, like, I'm going to, I imagine they're kind of during burnouts a little bit in the eye sockets. Now they're going to, like, go down the body and, like, kind of skirt around, I guess, on her torso. Mm-hmm. And then looking at uh, Jenna. Mm-hmm. Okay, I'm going to try to follow their directions. I'm going to move my hand to where they're looking on the torso and see if there's anything there like to take or maybe. Okay, I'm I don't know what it is, but I'm going to pick it up. Um the eyes then <laughs> like go off the body and then like go up your body. And they're like, uh, kind of like on your, I don't know, like your clothes, like kind of going all around like on your clothes and then like go off your body and then back over to Sprint's body and like back on the kind of chest area. And then the Yed Daw like, will search the body area that he put his eyeballs on. And uh, on Spring Hill's body, and rummage through there. I guess. Uh, Spring. She doesn't really have any things, other than she was wearing leather armor. Oh. And she's got okay. a sword and a shield. Okay. I get it now. You want me to take the armor? Okay, that's what it is. I was like, what are you doing? <laughs> she said, uh-uh. No, I don't know. Uh, Sprin wants me to take the armor, and then I guess we might as well take the sword and shield with us. Might as well. Okay, um, all right. Uh, I'm gonna, I don't know, I might have, like, some kind of cloaky thing to kind of cover, give you some modesty, and take, take out the, the armor. Uh, and then find a spot to trade and wear leather armor instead. Pretty good. We figured it out. <laughs> <laughs> this is going to be great. <laughs> be, then, I'm sorry. The leather armor. Oh, maybe it's in this two. PDF I found. It's plus two? Plus okay. Two, yep. Gotcha. Then the eyes are going to go back under the door and be like, make sure that they're looking at me and then vroom, under the door. Mm -hmm. I'm scared to touch this door. But I will do it for sprint kills. And I'm going to see if it's unlocked. You got to try to grab the door. It's, it's kind of not unlocked, though. It does have a bit of a creak. Sprinkles on the other side. You see that there seems to be a kind of light wooden almost looks like a sign that says enter on top that's barring <laughs> the door very thin wood doesn't look like it'd be too difficult to break through i'll go back through under the door and just like make like a ramming like like the eyeballs are just like <laughs> kind of like hitting the door like over and over again uh -huh. <laughs> All right, I will push on the door. Ready. Grr. <laughs> 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 Boof! I'm just gonna punch the door. 
Okay. You're going for a, a a hit, like chopping it kind of thing. I got this, man. I punched the door. I don't know what else I want from me. Sounds good. All right, let's roll. Roll. Try to. Pu- We're gonna give it a a luck. Give it a luck check as you try to punch the door. And look at it. You know, in most circumstances, a natural twenty would be spectacular. Oh. This is not one of them. Uh huh. No, uh-huh. you go and. Oh, ouchie! Ouchie, uh-huh. boo uh-huh. Bless. And I try to bless. <laughs> I bless. The door? No, I bless Pillsbury. <laughs> Okay. Or or do I? I or do. do I? I do. You did it. I cast Bless with a total score of 22. I have no idea what that means or does. We shall find out right now. Oh great. Um let's see. Bless. Confer uh, your There might be a shared link in our chat now if you want to look and kind of search for your Well oh, that's the case, I'll definitely do that. Spells. I, I don't know if there's spells in it. I found crit tables though. Um, got a lot of stuff. I'll find a link for spells later in a moment. All right, for um, bless. Let me see if I have any information on that. Okay, it 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 says what the spell is, but it doesn't give information on it. It has like <laughs> you can find it on this page, and I'm. <laughs> the book you can always so you can... uh download the crawler app too oh i forgot about that but you cast bless and do you have what get... you total score of 22 two. okay so um uh, you're casting it on yourself or i cast it on pillsbury, pillsbury. Right? So they receive a plus two bonus to all attack rolls, damage rolls, saving throws, skill checks, and spell turns for one turn. Uh, one turn equals ten minutes. Great. Cool. So you have a plus two to your ability. What would you like to do there, Pillsbury? I am going to put my back against the wall and use my legs to try and push the door open. All right. That what it sounds like it is a strength check. Go ahead and give me a strength check. Add plus two to it. Sixteen. That go. You push it and just breaks through. Congratulations. You've opened the door. <laughs> I was just at that moment start doing like little circle laps around Pillsbury. <laughs> I think at that moment, we're going to go ahead and take a quick break, quick bio break. Uh, Thanks for sticking around, everybody. Uh, We're going to take about a five, ten minute break, and we will be back. Uh, We appreciate you. We'll be back shortly. Bye.
Hey, welcome back. 20 sides of every story. We are here. We just took a quick break. We are playing DCC. The one who watches from below. Uh, if you're just joining us or you just joined us shortly, uh, one of our characters has been cursed. That's right. They went, they got a little bit greedy. Maybe it was a little bit of a mistake, but they touched a some type of object, and now their eyes popped out. They can only communicate with their eyes. So we're, we're kind of in the middle of that. Uh, also, uh, if some of you are wondering what's going on, one of our characters is also a Yeti, and the only one that could, he could really communicate to, rather than very short sentences, was that person that can now only communicate with their eyes. So he's a bit he him too he himself has kind of lost the ability to communicate with the others so it's a bit of a conundrum uh, the characters themselves have found themselves in the caves of secrets they're looking to find some type of knowledge uh, but what they found is just um, a curse and they're going further try to figure out what the heck is going on here maybe see if they could help their friend we all ready to get back going? Get back going. Ready. Get back and going. That's right. That's uh -huh. something people say, right? Uh, here we go. <laughs> uh, as we continue, you have all stepped into this hallway that seems to light up uh, wherever you go. You move forward. A loud clunky noise follows you on the, on the, on the outskirts of the corridor, and the light just moves along side wherever you move. Mm. What would the group like to do? Try to outrun the light. Zoom. All right. Zoom. You do that, and unfortunately, as fast as you go, it's right underneath you. Enter. Eyeballs and are we're... just going to race ahead and try to like get to that room that I saw with the jars and see if the group will follow me. Okay. Absolutely. Uh -huh. right. Sounds like you are all moving forward. Uh, we're going to go ahead and jump over to the next section here. Uh, for everyone else, just a reminder, we you find yourself in a round room. Uh, it's a circular room uh, with neatly uh, stacked jars spaced evenly about a corridor further. Uh, it goes further down, uh, but this uh, room also has a small grating on the bottom, uh, the southern section of this uh, room. Uh, small grating. Looks like something small could fit in it. Eyebells will go over by the grate and then look to the party. Uh. You you want to go down there? No. Uh -uh. Huh? You want us to go down there? Remember, the eyeball choice is one no. for yes, two for no. That that looked like a no. Huh? So okay. <laughs> Uh -huh. So you you <laughs> want us to go down the grate? No. Okay. I just wanted to confirm. Uh -huh. <laughs> you want to go down the grate? Such a mix. Like, I saw a blink, and then there was a long pause, and then another blink. <laughs> I don't know. Well, if you want to go down the grate, then go ahead. The eyes will, like, very slowly, like, go towards the grate and, like, look back one last time. Like, one like one eyeball <laughs> drops mm -hmm. over the other side. Then the, the other one just, for a lingering moment, looks back. But then the other one follows, so it'll go forward. She'll go forward. 
All I right. would like to light look inside the jars. Okay. Uh, as you look uh, within the jars, they are currently empty. Uh, and a damp, ac acrid air lingers. Uh, they're tall, and they're tall enough to hide in as well as you're looking at that. While you do that, the eyeball disappears through the grating. And I am going to have a question for you, Alex. Once you see this little note that I send you. Secret, secret. My question. <laughs> Is eyes open or eyes closed? Eyes closed? Okay. Nothing happens. I'm going to put it in reverse. <laughs> <laughs> And almost like you see the eyeballs come flying out of the grate, and right behind them comes a little nasty, gnarly rat chasing it like a piece <laughs> of cheese. <laughs> Can I try to possess it? Oh, no, I can't. Okay. I punch it. You punch it? I sure do. Okay. Bonk. Oh, a little, little tiny punch, like a little bonk punch. Yeah, like a little, just bonk. Like trying to knock it out. Sure, as much okay. as he can knock out a thing with his fist. All right, we're gonna go ahead and say that you're able to do that. And now you have a little, a capacitated little rat in your arms. I mean, <laughs> do you want this? What did you just say? <laughs> 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 this, is, this is really the option you want. <laughs> I guess we all have to start somewhere. Hey. <laughs> Blutters, lashes. All right. You're able to do it, and... You are... <laughs> You go and you go to move up as you feel. You feel like this small creature really doesn't have much of a resistance as you find yourself rolling on its body. And where do you want to set yourself? Like plant the eyes on a little rat body? Mm -hmm. Where would you like to plant your eyes? Hmm. Like just like on its face, like two, I think, kind of <laughs> oversized for a rat. <laughs> it looks like a rat with like little jiggly. So the eyes. eyeballs. You see the eye. You see Spring Hill's eyes suck in, and those sounds that you're trying to make. You're trying to move your mouth, but it wasn't there. All of a sudden, you hear your voice going, "Squeak, squeak, squeak, squeak!" And congratulations. You can use the same sounds a little rat makes to communicate. <laughs> I, go back I don't know if this is a better solution. <laughs> I mean, they can still blink, and now they can point. Wee! <laughs> Wee! Is that what rats say? <laughs> Wee! Wee! <laughs> That's my favorite wee. rat, the one that goes wee. <laughs> where, wee. where, what rats? What kind of rats are you? A crazy I place. No rat. Uh, all right, you find that you are in control of this rat. It will move where you want it to move. It will point. It's like you have become a rat. Sweet. Can I go back into the pipe? You sure can. I want to scout that. All 
All right, you go ahead and move forward, and uh, as you go down the pipe, that light continues to follow you. Um, you find, and this is something that you find, I'm just going to say it out loud for everybody. Uh, it seems to be uh, shelves circle, uh, shelves upon the shelves circle the room from floor to ceiling. Each shelf is packed with evenly spaced jars throughout this little section here. Jar. Uh, containing small clumps of sus suspended in clear liquid, a warm pink light bathes the entire area. Coming from crystals set on uh, the masonry, an oblong hole in the center of the chamber continues down at least 80 feet to the bottom and is lined with countless shelves of jars. Several ladders extend from the mouth of the hole to the bottom. The architecture in this area is unlike anything you've seen before. The floor and walls are constructed from smooth, porous stone like coral, and every corner is rounded off. What was in the jars? A small kind of speck, kind of floating in the center of the jar. Eyeball? Uh, as you look at it, every once in a while, it, this little tiny, it's almost like a small kind of shrimp-like creature kind of just floating in there. And every once in a while, you would see it might kind of looks like there's seems to be like some type of eye hole. Every once in a while, it looks like it would blink open and close its eye. But it's just floating in there. I'm gonna go back to the group and go squee 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 squee. Squee <laughs> squee. Um. Oh. Uh. I have an important question for you, Ike. Yes. With my previous occupation being artiste, do mm -hmm. I have a paper and pen? <laughs> Or pencil. I'm sure that you would still have a pencil. Okay. Because you always carry a pen paper around, so. This is true. Um, I'm going to set it on the floor. I'm like, well, if Remy the rat can do it from Ratatouille, maybe you can too. I'm going to hand <laughs> the pencil. <laughs> see, if he can do, see if he can use it to, like, I don't know, draw something out. And they got like little like kind of like paw things like maybe I don't know. Squeeze, <laughs> squeeze. Aw. What is wrong, friend? Do you think you cannot draw? We. I think he'll like probably try to maybe like wrap his little rat tail around the pen and steady it so he could try to draw like a jar I guess okay uh you go ahead and do that you go ahead and you uh take your time you begin to Do that, and it does actually come out. You you find that you have control enough uh, to do that, and as you're doing that, you hear your ear begins to twitch, and coming from behind you here seems to be a large swarm of rats. They begin to just shower out of the cracks and holes of uh, this area here. Uh, vermin pull from the floors and surge forward. 
and rides on the back of each one of these creatures is an insect looking eye looking at the group. Ew. Let's go ahead and roll initiative. Oh no. I guess it's too late to say when he was in the crate I wanted to heal us, but I guess it's a little too late now. Uh oh. I just, I just didn't want to ruin the mood. <laughs> it's okay. You can no, always you can always ruin the mood for some healing. <laughs> but he was describing it was so yeah, if you would like to, uh, you could go ahead and say that you tried to heal. Go ahead, and we'll just say well, that you got. I, I, I was least... going to sit there with my thumbs just twiddling about. I wasn't trying to heal us, but I didn't want to interrupt the jar thing. Yeah, no but problem. Keep, it's fine. Go, go, go ahead, and uh, we'll go ahead and say that you had the opportunity to heal. Try to heal one person. Also heal myself. Okay, go ahead and roll for lay on hands. I don't. No, you don't. I don't. I don't. <laughs> nope. You mm. didn't. You're all a five. It's it's getting great. It's getting Dish close. What is, where are you at? Dish approval. I'm at four now. Ooh, now it's getting just spicy. Twenty percent. <laughs> <laughs> it's rough. That disapproval comes up pretty quick. Um. All right. I guess we're going to go ahead and roll initiative. Uh, as far as what you have, uh, Alex, uh, your stat block, you would be able to... Um, let's see. You would be able to have uh, plus four to initiative. Uh, you get to get a one damage for a bite. Mm. AC of nine mm. with three hit points. Okay. Mm. All right. I'm going to go ahead and start off with Yeda. What is your initiative? One. <laughs> or Da. Mm -hmm. Two minus one. Is one. Uh -huh. <laughs> Spring kills. Eight. <laughs> Got a plus four. Oh yeah, you sure do. That's what oh, I had. So I, no. <laughs> oh, Pillsbury. I rolled a nineteen plus one for a twenty. Oh, awesome! Someone's doing their job. And Jenna? 13. 13 for Jenna. And finally, your friends. Oof. All right. Uh, Pillsbury, you're first. Uh, I am. Woman. The rats are swarming. They look like they're going to come eat us, right? Looks that way. And if I attack them, do I attack one rat at a time? Or... We're saying that you're going to be going groups of rats. All right. I will rush in. Um, what happened to Alex's shield? Because I could certainly use a shield right now. I don't have a use for it, so I I would probably have given it to you. Because yeah, I definitely I, to, uh... yeah, because I did say we'll pick up the sword and shield, but yeah, I don't it, I don't think it would work for me. So definitely would go to go to you. I, I'm not even gonna roll my D three because I only rolled a three. Uh oh. So yeah, that didn't go well. Mm hmm. Okay. Then I guess coming up next are the wats. <gasps> and the wats are going to attack. They're and they are going to attack. Spring kills. They look at you and they think, you know what? You're not one of us. Kind of feel that they're all looking at you and you're from the rival gang down the road, see? 
But even more so, it looks like they just have pretty murderous intent to, to try to do something nasty to you. They don't recognize your eyes. And, unfortunately for you, or for them, they fumbled. <laughs> so. <laughs> quiz, 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 right. Uh, do monsters get fumble, uh, Alex? Do they get fumbles? Yep. All right, let's go ahead and look at All right. Okay, cool. So, being a rat, it could probably just uh, roll d4 because it's not wearing no armor. Right. Right. Okay. d4. It. Uh. Oh. Some of the raps try to attack you, but you can kind of hear them, and it sounds, especially the youth sprinkles, like they're laughing. They're they're laughing at the few rats that try to attack you and miss. They sit somewhere, <laughs> squee, squee, squee. And the ones that try to attack you, they're all going, wee, wee. And they're like, mm -mm, that's mm. not how we sound. <laughs> so they're they're kind of making fun of each other and laughing at them. Up next. Jenna. Uh, I'm going to go for uh, whichever kind of cluster of rats is closest to uh, Sprin and mm -hmm. give it a little sh 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 yeah. sh sh swipe at him. Uh, that is a... That is a four. Did not hit. Sorry. Yeah, it's okay. I... I wave my knife threateningly, and that's it. <laughs> Sprinkle, it's your turn. Mm, squee. I'm going to run up there and try to attack one. Uh, 15 to hit. 15 hits. One point of squee. Squee. Very good. Just like grab one of the rats, mm -hmm. go for the jugular, just like and you do, and the it its head just flies off a little bit of blood and that eyeball that just kind of gives you one glaring look and just rolls off. Ugh. Yeah da. I'm gonna punch a rat. Maybe two if I'm lucky. Yeah, you are. Her. No. <laughs> Jeez. Let's just say it's it's a good thing it's not a spell. Okay, sounds good. <laughs> Pillsbury. Squee. All right, I guess we'll continue to swipe at things. That's an eighteen. Mm. Remember, you have a plus two to all your stuff for a turn. So, 23 all together. Wow, what did you get? Did you get a three on that? Uh. Yeah. Oh, so you got a mighty deed. So, give me some damage, and then tell me what that mighty deed, what you, what the little extra that you do. Two. Okay. And I think... Plus three, so then five. Okay. Plus three. Yes, because that 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 oh, your plus, deed roll plus, plus uh, two two so okay seven altogether okay Uh I am going to take my shield and try and shield sprinkles from the rats. Sounds good, sprinkles. You now have um if rolls try if they try to hit you they do it at disadvantage if the rats try to get at you Squee! 
<laughs> I think he's saying thank you. Okay. <laughs> All right. Uh, up next is the rats, and the rats <laughs> don't like that very much, but we'll see. We'll keep it going. We'll keep it. No, they're going after sprinkles anyway. Oh, hey, they don't. They don't. They're you're, they're trying to get it, but you're just keep on moving the the shield, and they're not getting anywhere near sprinkles as you're protecting her pretty much i'm a little uh-huh <laughs> jenna <laughs> um I'm, I'm i'm gonna try for another another swipe see how that goes okay. uh that's better 15 15 hits yay um Four points of stabby stab damage. Four points of stabby stab. They are not looking too good. Spring kills. What you gonna do? Yeah, bitey bite. Just say a rat forever. 16 to hit? <laughs> yeah, it hits. Jeez. One point of damage. <laughs> I look, and another one just just crush. Eyeballs are just kind of float, falling back as these little dead rats are just dying, and these eyeballs are just rolling off of them. Man, that rat is really showing up. Yeah, dog. Uh -huh. It's wakey time. Wake up. Uh -huh. <laughs> No. <laughs> Arrow of five. <laughs> Can we get some, someone needs to ship you some new dice? Anyone that listen, poor Yedda. <laughs> he needs some new dice. They're gone. <laughs> we're getting the good we're getting the good stuff now. Damn it. Alright. <laughs> okay. They Back should to sell, the top. They should sell dice the way they sell tennis balls, you know, like a pressurized can, so you could like get the satisfaction. Oh when you uh, that pop yeah. new new it's dice new tray venture. new dice for set it's gonna be okay uh -huh. i rolled a 10. all right does that hit that hits oh nice Terrible armor class. Uh, four damage altogether. With that, you are able to skewer the rest of the rats on your on your using a sword or club. I use the axe. The axe. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> dun 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 dun. And and they the eyeballs just fillet off. You actually catch one, and you cut it up alongside. But the rest are all they all roll off, and the rats are no more. We are out of initiative, and yeah, Galaxian, that that uh that D four definitely would pop right out when it. That'd be nice to say if it'd be like a blunderbuss <laughs> up in there. <laughs> 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 well, we're out of initiative. Congratulations, you are still alive. Yay! Seems like you have a bit of a time. It seems like the little rat was drawing a nice jar when you were attacked. Okay. Yeah, Del would like to go back to trying to heal himself again and not really Okay, terrible. yeah, of course. You won't. You won't. This is the beautiful Jasper's game day dice. All right. So it won't fail me, right? It doesn't. <gasps> 19. Oh. Squee. Awesome. Thank you. And, you're, and you I got get a 19. to heal you have your... three hit dice mm -hmm. worth of healing. This is so wonderful. You're on alignment. Yep. I'm back to full. Yay! Yay! And he'll go over with a uh -huh. renew Ringo. renewed sense of confidence to Pillsbury and say, good job. <laughs> no. How about, how, how about you feel if I told you that I rolled a four and my disappointment factor is also a four? That would make me really happy. Is that what you this did? Dice, 
Sure did. This dice is gone now. Sorry, Jess. Sorry, <laughs> this was game day. <laughs> Great. Till now. All right. Birthday present dice. We're using you now. Well, either way. Birthday. We got a roll real quick. Right. Do you have so that table available, or would you rather me do that for you? Question. Does my also my disappointment factor go up as well again? Mm-hmm. 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 So now we're at five. Uh, let's see. Deity disapproval. What What did you roll? What was What was on the roll? Four. Four, four, four roll on the dice. Forty-four. What are you? Uh, sure. Okay. Is that not great? Do you have a luck modifier? Ooh, even worse. No. I rolled one, two, three, and four. What the hell? <laughs> One, two, uh, three, and four. So ten. <laughs> you lose access to say... one randomly determined level one spell. The spell can't be cast until the next day. I'm gonna roll oh, a boy. D4 you have four, one. Right? I have four spells. Okay. I you lose access spells, yeah. to protection from evil. Yeah, we yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Squee. We. We. I'm just gonna just eliminate it from my list. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> Dark tree sad. Dark tree. You feel a bit of that disapproval as you really haven't. Feel like you need to do something to baby get in its good graces, but now is not the time, unfortunately. You're in the middle of. Trying to save your buddy. Do you continue healing? Anyone else? I how, do not need any. Oh, hurt. Now. <laughs> nope. Uh, I'm, I'm okay. Uh huh. <laughs> I it's should okay. have been a wizard. <laughs> Squee. Squee. <laughs> Squee. All right, we're going to go ahead and continue. As you uh, are sitting there, you see that? Yeah, they, they seem to pour out. Uh, what would the group like to do? A little bit. Can I investigate where they poured out of? Uh, sure. You go and look, uh, and there are cracks along, uh, kind of cracks within this uh, hallway. Uh, they poured out uh, through the floor and the ceiling. Just uh, minor cracks. They seem to all come at once. Come on. Weird to see so many rats all just moving in unison like that. With eyeballs on top of them. Oh, yeah, that was weird, too. <laughs> I didn't think about that mm-hmm. one. Says the little rat that has two extra giant eyes. <laughs> two giant eyes. Hmm. Or. Um, we're not going to fit through these grates, right? No, the rat uh, I guess we go through the door. Keep going down the hallway. Uh, All right. Okay. Yeah. You guys move to the uh, door there. Um, and. You move to the doorway uh, and. Door itself does not seem to be locked. Can I fit under the door? Uh, you can. That's Little good. tight squeeze. Yeah, not as not squeeze. as easy as you would with I. Yeah, you squeeze. Yeah. 
Anyone else following? Uh -huh. Yeah. Okay. Door opens. Everyone uh, follows uh, through alongside the little rat. The little spring coast the rat. And uh, this is what you see. Alabaster statues of creatures in fighting poses line the walls. Elves, dwarves, strange reptile-like humanoids. And in the northern corner, or the north north northeast corner, a giant snake-haired creature with a large uh, bowl between its cloven hooves. Bleached skulls are mounted on wooden plaques high on the wall. Neither the scat neither the statues nor the skulls have eyes. Or what we've been seeing, that might be a good thing. Yeah, I'm thinking anything with eyes is a bad thing. Uh, any other doors in this room? If you look a little bit further south, you do see a door. A hallway headed down. Um, could I look look for traps? Because I have a skill that says find trap. Sure. But yeah, so I, I I would like to give that a try. Okay. Let's see. Fourteen. Uh, you look around, you do not see any traps, though as you are here, you do see, it sounds like muffled noises coming up from that direction. Ooh. I will warn the party about this. Um, am I able to kind of hear vaguely, like, what they are? Like, is it like an animal, or like, like, like You're talking? You're not sure, you hear grunts. You hear grunts. And you hear plops. Like just footsteps, but bare footsteps, kind of walking towards you, and you hear. I'm gonna go kind of kind of climb into the bowl. I'm gonna go squee my way over there. Yeah, squee your way into that little bowl. Uh, you move into the bowl. Uh, let me see. Da, 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 da. As you go into the bowl, you see, uh, wiggling around, fat earthworms are in that bowl, and they're all just kind of writhing around in the bowl when you jump in. Grab a snack while I'm in there. Okay, you go to bite one. No, no, it tastes okay. But as you do, uh, it kind of turns and you feel like this kind of little little burn as it looks like it's secreting some type of acidic kind of juices from its mouth. Maybe that's what it uses to digest things. But either way, it doesn't damage you, but it is a little bit un it's a little it it's a painful snack. I'm gonna get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> I was just going to hide behind the Medusa statue. All right, you're able to do that. What is everyone else doing as they hear these voices kind of moving their way up? I... <laughs> He's just going to walk to the hallway. I'm going to hide near the hallway. <laughs> All right, we're going to say that you're able to hide. No problem. I'm also going to hide. Okay, you might have a little harder time hiding. Um, give an agility check, I guess. We'll see, see, maybe if you could try to hide. That's a twelve. All right, uh, it's not too bad. Uh, not too bad. Uh, you're kind of, kind of scooting around one of the statues. You're not sure if you're a uh, your little. Fluffy belly is hanging out, 
but maybe your chef hat's a bit too big, but you're kind of unsure if you're really hidden or not. And I guess time will tell. Uh, yeah, Daw. You're moving forward through that stairway. Hallway. I'm not going over hallway. where the fifth is coming from. I'm not, I'm not that insane. Oh, okay. So where, just uh, where about are you at? Just so I have an just idea. Just taking a step back happens. to over Oh, you're taking here. a step back. <laughs> okay, yeah, that went that way. All right, sounds good. Um, in a moment, you see small... Let me see. Let me get description real quick as I move here. You see small cloaked figures uh, approach and appear through as it looks like they're having this conversation, guttural kind of language. And they're kind of looking at each other. Uh, on the side, they hold a small little cursed, a little curved dagger kind of around their robe. The other side, um, you would see a sm uh, small clubs that they'd have, uh, their teeth jutting out. You see this large teeth and a kind of kind of large skull. Uh, one of their hands, they kind of drag, kind of hunchbacky, kind of moving forward, not able to see their face, but they are almost in the room. And there, we're going to roll initiative. To see if anyone does anything. All right. Here we go. Pillsbury. I rolled another 19, and I'm getting sad that I'm wasting him on individual. <laughs> <laughs> it's awesome. You and both. All right. So 20 altogether. That's not too bad. That's good, though. It's good that you're going early in the initiative. Uh, we'll go with Yedda. 13. Hey, not too bad. That's just the initiative roll, though. But that's good. That means that it's, it's so the wonderful. pendulum I mean, is moving back. It's so it though. It's right hope is what you need. Nice. Hope right is what you nice. need. No. Uh, sprinkles. Fifteen. Fifteen. Thirteen. Thirteen. Uh, we will say Yada goes first. And I got a sixteen. Thank you, Jenna. You're welcome. And finally, our little friends. Oh. Ooh. Uh. Okay. All right. We are all set. All right. First off, Pillsbury, you are, at least you seem at the moment, to not have been noticed. What would you like to do? They are in the center of the room. Hooded figures kind of talking, kind of just walking by. Am I still blessed? Uh, that lasted 10 minutes, correct? Yep. I'm going to say you might have one final little round of bless. All right. I'm going to take out my rolling pen. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to cold cock one over the head. <laughs> okay. <laughs> No survivor. <laughs> <laughs> I rolled a 14 plus one from the dice and plus two. So 17 altogether. 17 hits. Uh, 
Eight damage. Eight damage. All right. Oh, uh, yeah, that one itself. You go to hit it, and you just kind of crush it. You just moidulate it, and it just goes down without even a fight. It's about, to you, it's about, you're, you're a pretty tall guy. This thing is, like, waist high, and you just go, you weren't even sure if it, it could have been a kid, and you just bonk, and that thing just dropped like a sack of potatoes. And as it did, the, the cloak falls off, and you just see this hideous, gnarly face kind of just looking back. Well, not at you, but kind of on the ground. You see this this buddy right here, and I'm going to go ahead and remove this right here so you can take a little look. This guy here, not only does he look a bit rough, but his forehead is festering with eyeballs. All his bald head, it just has eyeballs all sunk in. Is as you hit him, some of them squish, but the rest just pop. You hear that popping nasty as they all begin to scurry and try to flee. Uh, that's so <laughs> gross. They know you're there. <laughs> the other two go, and they look at you a bit, kind of shocked. But we'll see if they have a chance, because next is Jenna's turn. I'm terrified. This is terrifying. Uh, I'm going to try to backstab. Yep. Go ahead and roll. You got it. Nine. Nine to hit will yeah. not be enough. <laughs> Sorry. I, in a position they see you I'd too. rather not. <laughs> yeah, in I was going to say. <laughs> in fact, when, as you go, it looks at you and pulls off, and all the eyes on the forehead just whoop, and they all just peer at you. He's not even looking at you, but all the eyes are just staring at you. <laughs> no, don't look at me. <laughs> uh huh. Your turn. Oh. Darkness. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm gonna cast darkness on the two. Yeah, you are. Sure am. Do it. Let it happen. The birthday yeah. dice smile upon me these days. Twenty-one. All right. Not awesome. What 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 kind of effect happens with that darkness? I have no idea. We'll find <laughs> out when I pull it up. The I gain I can designate a point within hundred feet and create a radius of twenty foot sphere of darkness centered at a point. The darkness remains for a duration of one turn, which I think we'd say which is ten minutes. By concentrating on future rounds, the cleric can move the sphere of darkness up to 40 feet per round, beyond the original 100 foot range. So I'm going to put it just right behind them. And just so it's like... Darkness. I Darkness. I don't know what's going to accomplish. But it worked. Burn. You got something. You did something. Uh -huh. <laughs> you sure did. Uh -huh. <laughs> I guess he'll say backstab. <laughs> yeah. Coming ah. up next. Sprinkles. Sprinkles. There's just one left. Two. Two left. There were okay. three that came in. So the one opposite, the one that's that. Yeah, Daw didn't just uh, mess with. They mm -hmm. said they're wearing cloaks. They're wearing cloaks. One of them is covered still. The other one has his cloak back, and they're all currently staring at Jenna. I'm going to run forward and try to do the old rant in the pants routine. I'm going to try to get in his <laughs> pants. 
Okay. You go in there. This that 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 musk stink is just so much worse in there. You're going and you're not sure what you're. There's bumps everywhere. As you go, you're stepping in and an eyeball just opens up and just is like peering at you as you're going up the leg. And Excuse they just me. are following you <laughs> as you're running up the leg. This thing is infested with eyeballs. Once I'm up in a vulnerable position where I'd rather not be, <laughs> I start biting. Uh-huh. You sure do. Go ahead and go ahead and roll that attack, please. Position I'd rather not be in. Fifteen to hit. Fifteen hits. One point. Yep, you go and you pull. You and a little bit of the skin comes with it. And you just <laughs> God. I knew it was coming. <laughs> uh and that was the <laughs> and that was the uh one point of damage. Great. One point. It's still it it one point, correct? One when Sounds good. You do hit it. One point of damage. Moving on. It's the hybrid that is staring at Jen. Normally I would roll to see which one it's gonna attack. But it's pretty much you've got you've got its attention. It's looking yeah. at you. Yeah. 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 Just like Sprinkles got the other one's attention. So first we're gonna go <laughs> see if it hits you. Um it takes out its little curved dagger, uh, and it goes to try to hit you. Um, does an does a ten hit? Uh, actually, I don't think so. No, it does not. All right. <laughs> uh huh. <laughs> Alex is doing his own. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Said Alex is his own sub channel. <laughs> his own adventures are happening down there. <laughs> this is what happens when he doesn't have to DM. He gets to just do everything else. <laughs> um, you said a ten does not hit. Correct. It tries to stab at you. Its eyes, the eyes are glaring at you as it misses. Some of the back become get a little bit wide as it seems like it's left itself open to you. The second one goes and gets its its curvy dagger, and you see it just going to stab down at its pants. What? It's trying to shish Squee! kebab something. Oh no! <laughs> oh no! Ratatouille. Um, but I do not think a five hits. No, no, it it misses itself, but it misses you as well. Pillsbury, it's your turn. All right, so no more blasts. But I guess we will try and cold cock the next one. Maybe not kill it if I can, but uh, so that would be a try that again. A uh, thirteen to hit. A thirteen does hit. Five points of damage. Five points of damage, and are you, you said you're trying not to. No, I'm not trying to kill it. Okay. No, um. No. All right. You'll be able to kind of knock it unconscious. Most some of the eyes come out, but it's just sitting there on the floor. It falls down too, pretty hard. Jenna. Yes. Your turn. Okay. Um, I feel like I am in a position where I can't exactly hide easy. So I'm gonna stab uh -oh. them. 
Oh, that's true. There is a large, um, yes, dark square kind of right behind it. Bye! And we go into the dark square. I'm going to try okay. to hide. All right. Uh, going into the dark square itself, you're hidden, so you don't have to use an action to hide. <gasps> really? Mm-hmm. So I can backstab? Mm-hmm. Already? I would do that. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know if that would work or not. Uh, that would be a 15 to hit. 15 hits. <gasps> Yay. Okay, so roll for damage. That's a two. Pull up my crit table. I got a five plus one for luck, so six. A uh, foe dazed by ferocious attack. His speed and actions are reduced by half. Uh, and also the two points of stab damage. Okay. So only two points of damage? Correct. All right. Yeah. It is still up, but not looking too good. Yes. You felt it kind of moving a bit as you're holding on to whatever for dear life in their sprinkles. But it's your turn. <laughs> I'm gonna just come out now. <laughs> You're gonna come out, okay? There's a uh, the one that's on the fresh ground. air. Just feels like fresh air. Just mm. in your face. <laughs> yes, feels nice. Smells good. I want to try to possess the one that's like just got knocked out. Okay. You go ahead and try to do that. And you feel a sharp pain as you're you as you are rejected. Seems these buggers have a little bit of intelligence. Just start sobbing. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Is that the end of your turn? Yep. Okay. Pillsbury. No, actually, it's the hybrid's turn. It just sees all of its eyes are peering down at this little rat that gave him a, gave his gibbly bibblies a nibble. It's going to attack him. Uh oh. Eleven to hit. That hits. Okay. Oof. Three points of damage. That's how many I have. It skewers the rat, and you s no longer feel a sense of connection with it, though the eyeball, your eyeballs seem to be unharmed, and they roll off of it. <laughs> <laughs> Pillsbury, your turn. And there's still one up. There's one left. Bending over, just you just think it just killed sprinkles. I killed a rat. I'm not really worried about it. That's uh, six total. <laughs> so I think six I total. Yeah, I missed. Yeah, it misses. Jenna. Step into the darkness mm -hmm. and try to backstab. Yep. 18. 18 hits. Sweet. Three points of stab, and I That's don't. That's enough. Cool. That's enough. Good. It was barely holding on. You stabbed it, and it just. <laughs> it just goes down and falls. You are out of initiative. You have one unconscious, weird, nasty looking hybrid esque, grotesque, 
grotesque creature. Grotose. <laughs> grotose. It's so nasty. Yeah. It's not even grotesque anymore. It's grotose. It's grotose. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Should we try and talk to him? Sure. <laughs> All right. Um, it's knocked out. It's oh. going to take a little bit, I think. <laughs> yeah. Or are you... Uh... I guess these things are somewhat intelligent. You're not able to connect with them? (laughs) Do we wait until they wake up and prepare to pounce? No. Uh -uh. No. Uh Uh-uh. Do we kill him? Uh. <laughs> uh. <laughs> do uh. do we lock them somewhere and can and move on? Uh. Go for it. I don't know what you want. <laughs> uh. Uh. Black? He oh heal? Uh, oh, do we have any injuries? Uh, <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Either beat him up. <laughs> Uh-huh. Or heal him. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, that was, that was on the right track. Uh, <laughs> I, uh, <laughs> um. I don't know. I don't know either. <laughs> oh, tree sad. I mean. <laughs> you know what? I'm scared. Go for it. Uh, Try to heal him. See what happens. Uh huh. I'm gonna get his knife away. I'm gonna make sure he has no other weapons. And I'm just gonna pull out the hand and just slap heal. But do I though? All right, birthday Man, dice. If you get disapproval. <laughs> It rolled off the thing. I have no idea where it went. I I lost it. It's no longer. Where did it go? I uh, I found it. I'm gonna I'm gonna give this solution to Isaac. Oh no. Do we take the dice roll that was on the floor, or shall I re-roll it? Um, it's up re-roll to you. It? I would re-roll it. Unless are you yeah, sure? It's on the floor. It is it is up to you? It is on the floor? Is were you able to read? Phone? Were you able to read what it was? I, I Five can read what it is. I can yeah, read. Yeah, if what you it read is. what it is, then that's that's what you take. Yeah. Oh, it shot again. <laughs> oh my I, god! I rolled a three. <laughs> oh my gosh! I regret my decision. Three d fours. Three d fours. Oh. oh. Nine. Take a look. It's a book. My disapproval rate is now six. You immediately incur an additional minus two penalty to all spell checks. Oh. Lasts until the next day. I can now only roll a plus. I have to roll an 11. Oh, no. Uh-huh. Uh, question about these statues. Do they look sure. like... Is the detail on them, like, impeccable? 
impeccable. Chef's kiss details are as realistic as they could be if you've seen any of these creatures before. They look like spitting images of creatures. Is there one that looks stupid? Define what you think looks stupid, I guess. <laughs> Possessible. <laughs> What was that? Oh, if it's a uh, um, uh, how about we say that you try maybe the what? There was like a Ant Man or something like that. You try that, and it seems like you're not getting you're not Ant getting Man. into that or whatever. Flashbacks. <laughs> Okay. Is there a Walrus fan? I wanted to try it to uh -huh. see if they might be yeah. people. It seems like you're not able to get uh, the stone seems to kind of be blocking any sort of anything. There's statues yeah. after all. You could become a worm. Oh. <laughs> I'm just going to Move my darkness circle over myself and just sulk. <laughs> As you do that, you hear, um, you're not sure if it's your voice or if it's your own voice, but it does sound a bit like you. And you hear a voice and it says, Yeah, da. What are you doing? Why? Why? Are you doing these things for the right reason? Is your heart where it needs to be? I think it's in the perfect place to be. It just seems that it's not going all my way. But it feels like you have a sense. You, you, you are not, when you cast these spells, you're not giving your full joy and commitment. You are letting others cloud. And pray. Well, you need to praise me, da. Yeah, da. Do these things for me. And the others, the others, they will benefit from it. You are good, yeti, yeah, da. And I'm proud of what you've done. He's biting his tongue. He doesn't want to do a rhetorical comeback, but... <laughs> uh -huh. I'm aware that it doesn't seem like that at the moment. It seems all I'm doing is punishing you. But, uh -huh. Yeda, you are a young Yeda, and you have much to learn. Praise me. And all your shortcomings will be forgiven. Uh -huh. It shall be done. And I say in the darkness. <laughs> okay. That alone, that little thing, we're going to say that we're going to cut off one of your disapproval rating. Yes! 25%, baby, let's go. <laughs> Excellent. It's going to be really bad when I roll a five next turn. All right, out of initiative. Did we hear any of that? Um, yeah, Dal, were you grunting out loud when you were speaking? I assume he would be if he was being talked to. Mm hmm. So you're uh -huh. here. <laughs> uh -huh. Uh -huh. I'm going to look over at Jenna. Cookie. Sure. <laughs> I like Cookie. cookies. I re reach in my bag and give her a cookie. Hell yeah. I got a cookie. 
Well, we did that. what would the group like to do? Um, oh, start rolling down the stairs. Ouch. 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 <laughs> So you move into the next area, and this Ooh. area comes with a bit of a little handout. But first, I am going to uh, read the description for you. All right. The stairs open into a great hall, the high ceiling held in place by two massive columns. Triangles of green light reflect off three gems set in a large stone skull that watches silently from a dais at the east end of the room. A grand set of doors looms over the west end of the hall. Tapestries on the north and south wall depict enormous eyeballs on a background of crawling worms. I'm going to go ahead and share with you a bit of the scene as you all explain and decide what you guys want to do. Hmm. I will, um, how did you describe the skull again? Uh, the skull is, uh, unmoving. It has three large giant gemstones on its forehead. So there's a curtain on either side? Uh, yes, and it depicts uh, eyeballs uh, with earthworm all around them. I'm going to go ahead and share this. I'll share it on Miro so you guys can take a look. It's being shared uh, right up here to the north of it. So you could all take a look. At the... Oh. Well, that's pretty cool. <sighs> Can I try to hug the wall and go behind the tapestry? Yeah, sure. You can go ahead and do that. Uh, you go ahead and hug the wall. Uh, you are trying to see maybe if there might be a little something something behind there. Kinda. I also just want to see, like, does anything happen to me, I guess. As I'm going through the room. Uh, as you hug the walls, no, nothing is happening. Nothing is happening as you're going. Uh, are you choosing the south wall or the north wall? I think the north wall, because that's where we're coming from. So, like, I just, like, hug the wall, follow the north wall, and see if I can get to the opposite end of the hallway without, like, the skull doing anything or the eye stalk things doing anything. Mm-hmm. Uh... Uh, nothing seems to be happening as you move along the uh, tapestry, uh, the north wall. As you get closer, you do see that there are, um, uh, there is a double door to the west. Uh, you see a small grating, uh, to the south as well as another door that leads further south. I guess I'll wait to see if the group does anything. Like, I'll come back to them. I... And I'll kind of look to the double doors and then to the south. Like, indicate mm -hmm. there's two choices. Okay. I'm kind of... I kind of want to see if there's a way, like, to examine more, like, the gems on the skull. I don't want to touch them. Just because of what happened to 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 Sprin. um, but I just kind of, I'm 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 curious. Okay. 
Of course. You yeah. Go ahead and look up. Uh, nothing happens as you move closer to the skull. Okay. Uh, how are you examining them? Um. I guess. Is there any kind of hint of like a, like a like a magical like inscription like around where the gems are, oh, or do they like pick up? For... Yeah, are is there some um, kind of weird I guess what you, glint? Knowing, yeah, I guess knowing what you know as Jenna, um, you're not really able to detect much magic or anything of that, but definitely mm -hmm. there there's no ruins or anything around them that you okay. can see. Okay. All right, I'm going to leave those alone then. They're tempting, but I'm going to leave them alone. Oh. I'm going to go over to the door that Spryn kind of motioned to, the double doors, and okay. if there's a way to, like, peek underneath or like list like listen through the door i would like to try that okay uh you listen how do you listen do you um put your head like do you put your yeah. up on, against it yeah like i kind of like cup okay like my hands around my ears and just kind of like press to listen all right let's go ahead and roll initiative oh god what <laughs> What? No, yeah, it's roll initiative. Is is it what a mimic door? Cause? I refuse. Oh, well, maybe a lot. Maybe other people want to open the door too. We gotta roll initiative to find out who gets to open it first, right? Oh. Right. Sure. See. Oh. Uh, Sprinkles. I, I... What do you got? <laughs> yeah, Twenty. <laughs> what do you? <laughs> what do you have? Twenty. Oh, that's good. You do a lot. I also got a 20, but it was like a 19 plus a 1, so if you want to put me second, I don't mind. Sure, we'll do that. Genesis. Okay. Um, yeah, dog? I didn't get a 20, I got a 14. <laughs> That's good too, though. You're That's rolling good. high. It's above yeah. a 10. <laughs> that's so good. That's, that's when you want it. It's no. <laughs> no. And oh, Pillsbury? I'm barely paying attention at this point to what the group is doing. I'm staring at the gems. I rolled a six plus one, I get a seven. Yeah. Do it. Do it. Be smart about it, but do it. Yeah. It'll be, be fun. Uh, so, got it. Finally, let me roll. The door, maybe I don't know. Give me uh -huh. a second. Find out. Uh -huh. I'm terrified. A hundred percent terrified. It's okay. There's nothing to be afraid about. Fear. You can talk your way out of everything. Fear. <laughs> Oh, I shall talk my way to freedom. Just kidding. Uh, oh. <laughs> not that kind of game. <laughs> Aww. Uh, not all the time, anyway. There's, there's, there's some points, but no, I don't know. Uh, let's see. Da, 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 da. Okay, we got. That is. Oh, did we kill the guy that was unconscious? Uh, no, you... Tried to heal him <laughs> and then just slapped him. Oh, yeah. did you heal him up? That is oh. definitely what happened. Uh-oh. Well, he's, uh, um... We're gonna... We'll, we'll figure that out after this. How about that? We'll go back <laughs> to that. Check in on that at the end. He's. We'll say currently he you might have been able to tie him up, and he's kind of laying up against the wall right there. I'll go ahead and figure out what happens after. And he's still unconscious because the heel didn't go through, right? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Did not go through. 
All right, there is that. Okay, and sprinkles. Um, yeah, you see something, and I'm just going to describe it. The others might not see it. As you're looking and you're rolling around, all of a sudden, you look up at those eyes, those columns with eyes on top, and they're just, they both stop and they just turn and stare at Jenna as she's looking at that doorway. The doors look locked. Um, give me a intelligence check. Let's see if you can tell if they're locked from where you're at. Oh yeah, seven. Oh <laughs> um, yeah, you've seen doors, and that one definitely might look locked. I'm rolling under those doors. Okay. Uh, you. And not roll underneath them. They seem to be tight. Zoom. Underneath. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go to the south to that archway. <laughs> All right. Can you just on your cursor? Can you just show me your path of movement real quick? Oh God. I'm gonna mm -hmm. go. I'm gonna follow the wall and go under the tapestry. That's tried and true. Uh huh. I think. So I'm trying to like not be seen. And if I have to stop, I would stop. Behind the tapestry. Okay. Uh, you're moving, looking at those eyes that are staring at Jenna, and they do not seem to be doing anything, and you get to maybe that archway. All right. That will be it. Jenna, your turn. Uh, I would still just be listening to the door. All right. Give me a perception check. Or, I'm sorry, not perception. Intelligence. <laughs> wah, wah. All right. That's not bad. I got a 19. 19. Um, let me see what you hear. Uh, you would hear a light buzz coming mm. from the whatever that is. Light buzz. What, the, the door? Uh, coming from behind the door, a light buzz. Okay. Maybe whatever is in that next room, maybe a light buzz is happening. Oh, okay. Huh. All right. I'm going to kind of turn around, looking kind of just towards the group to be like, there's something buzzing on the other side. Uh, just kind of warning them, like maybe like. Just there might be something there. Um, I'm guessing I do not notice the eyeballs. Um, I would say that with that intelligence check, you might notice that they're staring at you as you're looking uh, up. Okay. I think Sprint probably would have like bumped you a little bit on your ankle, like the eyeballs oh, okay. would have given you a little cue. But I wasn't gonna mm -hmm. linger around a zoom. You see the eyeballs. Gotcha. Go behind the tapestry. Mm. I don't like how they're looking at me, and I'm going to follow Sprint and hide behind a tapestry. <laughs> All right, you are going to move along the walls. Along yeah. The... Okay. Pretty pretty much. Sounds yeah. good. Yeah. Sounds good. Yeah, da. It's your turn. Has it been 10 minutes? I would say it has not. With joy in my heart and all things good, I'm going to move my darkness 40 feet to cover the eyeballs. <gasps> Are they both <gasps> covered? Is it within 20 feet of each other? Maybe? Uh Nope, 15, you can cover one. Twenty, you get one. Oh, I'm gonna see. I'm gonna make sure the ruling. 
It is 20 foot radius or diameter? 20 foot radius. Ooh. Ooh, that's fancy. They are mm -hmm. covered in darkness. They see oh. nothing. Yep. You do that. And that's what I do for however long the time goes. <laughs> awesome. Coming up next. Nothing happens. Coming up next. Pillsbury. Um, it looks like everybody's going towards the archway. Mm -hmm. I will go into the archway. Sounds good. And I'm going to go ahead and ask. Uh, we'll go ahead and... Sounds like everyone's moving forward. Yeah, Dar, are you going to stay there? Or are you going to move as well? As well. All right, everyone moves down to the archway. We'll be out of initiative for now. You move through the archway, and you find a set of stairs that go up further. And through that, you find a long find a long uh, kind of room. Uh, you would know it uh, at a first glance. Everyone, as you see it, would know it automatically to be some sort of armory. Uh, you're in a long room stretching east to west. Wooden weapon racks overflowing with armaments run the length of the room. A few shields hang above rectangular chests. Uh, the racks along the room uh, have many weapons and swords. I think at this what point, would you all like to do? Eyeballs are gonna roll up Pillsbury's clothes and plant themselves oh. on the hat. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> huh. <laughs> nice. Well, I guess now we have weapons. More weapons. Mm -hmm. And it looks like, is there th three doors? Uh, yes, there are three doors. Three doors. I'm going to do it. I'm going to open this one. Okay, you open it. Going for it. And it appears to be, um, we're going to say it appears to be, uh, have a uh, wooden box, a crate inside of it. Okay. Not going to lie. I got totally scared because it looked like in the drawing, it looks like a dude like hunched over in the corner. <laughs> and I'm like... A little bit. Yeah. 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 And I'm like, that is genuinely terrifying. I want to leave the room. I, th but I it... thought it was like a, like a breastplate is what I thought it was. Uh-huh. Yeah. That would make more sense. I totally it thought it was like... It would make more sense. Yeah. I was like, oh, that's a dude hiding in the corner. I don't like that. Um, okay, so it's a chest. Mm -hmm. I will approach the chest and look for traps. All right. Find a trap. Let's see. Ooh, natural 20. 21. Awesome. You don't see any uh, chest. So it does definitely looks like a breastplate. It's definitely, as you get closer, looks like a wooden crate. Okay. Um, I'm gonna test the top of the crate to see if it pops okay, open. It opens up on the hinges, oh, okay. and uh, inside you find uh, first plate. No, just kidding. <laughs> Three hundred arrows. Ooh. Can I use arrows? Five of those arrows are silver-tipped arrows. Ooh. I think you can use like short bows. I can use a short sword. Oh, it's I don't know. Your alignment. It might. Don't or no, know. that was just a cleric. Yeah, I have. It says blackjack, blowgun, crossbow, dagger, dart, 
garrote, longsword, short sword, sling, and staff. Yeah. So that's great. Uh, I'm assuming that you all take a look at this door as well. I might uh I might take the silver tipped arrows anyway. Just sure. Yeah. Can't can't go wrong with silver. Mm -hmm. Um do you touch them to grab them? Probably. Nothing happens. Okay, sounds good. Uh any <laughs> 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 no, I lift them with my mind. <laughs> uh, and I'm going to go ahead and just uh, quicken this up just for okay. the sake of time. We're going to go ahead and say that you take a look at this yes. one as well. I'm going to try to grab that. And you find a little grate that might uh, let you go back towards that I stock column section. Uh, behind this one, there is another... A uh, crate here with uh, two um, wooden shields uh, in the corner. This crate has um, however many sling stones that you need along with slings. <gasps> I will take those. Okay, sure. You have that. Uh, along the uh, weapon racks, we have multiple things. Uh, I think maybe we could take care of that. Off stream, I'm looking at the time. We're at four hours. I think this might be a good place to stop. You've made your way in a bit. Uh, I'm sure you have more questions than answers at this point. Yeah. But congratulations. You found a bit of weapons. I mean, you found short swords in here. There's short swords. There's long swords. There's axes, there's javelin, there's, uh, like I said, a bit of shields. This might be able to help you guys out a bit if you're looking to get a little bit more, um, you know, firepower moving forward. So uh, with that, anyone have anything else? Um, thank you for not killing us yet. Um... Yet. I was sick of trying. Believe me, I'm over. <laughs> Alex, you may speak again. <laughs> First bit, you're Alex again. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> well, uh, so far, we're halfway there. Will the adventurers find a way to help Sprinkles? Um, will Yedaw ever get his voice back? Uh-uh. Uh-uh. <laughs> Did Will Yedda bring me here? Pillsbury ever get? I don't know. What is Pillsbury looking for here? Uh, I'm starting to run out of um, like treats and snacks. So <laughs> <laughs> looking for food. maybe find some good, yeah, some night. That this this place screams like just culinary. Ah, uh, all I need <laughs> is <culinary>. a kitchen. <laughs> I have flour. Will, will, will Pillsbury ever find a kitchen? Well, <laughs> oh no, it's so much, such a cliffhanger, right? Um, There's the kitchen. Again, thank you for sticking around, those of you that uh, came by. Thank you very much for the follows. Uh, thank you for the raid, Homebrew Cafe. Thank you for sticking around and chat. It was nice seeing a few new faces and those that we've seen along. Um, come and join us. We'll probably be in. Discord after we'll come and talk with us for a bit. Uh, Discord, yeah. come and join us. We'll be glad to talk to you about D and D, DCC, any, any really any table talk adventures. We talk about games, video games. We just talk about everything. We have a great time in there. Sing karaoke every once in a while. You know, have fun. Come by if you're looking to hang out. Uh, also, uh, once again, if you are inclined, uh, we have a Patreon. Uh, we would graciously thank you very much for, you know, donating to us. We really appreciate it. Uh, furthermore, a few things coming up. We have two people uh, in tomorrow that will be in tomorrow's game. Storm King's Thunder. Uh, you think this is rough? <laughs> Should watch Storm King's Thunder because that that's like that deadly encounter so far that I've seen. I've had nothing but uh, an amazing time watching you guys play. How do you guys feel about that one? 
edge of your seat, huh? I like it. What it's, a rest, man. It's definitely <laughs> rough. Um, I I don't think anybody's got full hit points at this point, and um, <laughs> we are only level three. No, level four. Yeah, you gotta earn it. You gotta, <laughs> you gotta earn it. Um, but yeah, come and join us with that. Uh, furthermore, um, we have our we have uh something coming up. Uh, in May, it is our charity event. Uh, it's called Twenty Sides Week of Giving. Uh, we are going to be donating uh, all uh, that we gather to the Center for Suicide Awareness. That's May 9th uh, through the 14th. They'll be we'll be playing games, tabletop games. We'll be playing video games probably, and just hanging out uh, on stream. Uh, and uh, we'll be raising money for a very noble and worthy cause. Uh, we have a few giveaways happening there. The uh, center was gracious enough, n- enough to uh, give us a few, uh, five, in fact, Xbox slash PC controllers that you could uh, use to play some games with, uh, as well as we will be giving out some T-shirts, another cool swag uh, along the way. So please join us for that time. That's May 9th through the 14th. Uh, a schedule will be up uh, shortly. Uh, well, you'll see what all the events that will be listed. I'm sure we'll be doing something uh, every day or almost every day. So uh, once again, I'm Isaac. Thank you very much for joining us. Uh, I really I really have a great time. As you can see that we're learning along the way a bit how to play DCC, but you know, we're learning together. We're having fun. So uh, I'm having a blast. Thank you all. I appreciate you guys hanging out with me. Uh, and I think we maybe might find someone to raid, maybe? Yes, we can do this. Um, let's see. <laughs> oh. A lot of the people that I know are probably at GiriCon, so... Uh, oh, let's see. Let's see. I, I see Trumpets and Tarask. Uh, Ooh, sure. that sounds let's, wonderful. Let's do that. Raid, Trumpets, and... Is it Tarasks plural? Let's go ahead and take a look. It is, uh, yes, trumpets and Taras. All right, looks like it's up. So join the raid. Let's go say some say hello to some fellow streamers. Make their day. And we'll call it there. Thanks, Thanks thank everybody. You very much. Thanks, thank Isaac. you. No problem. Thank you.